the stadium all caked up. I've elected not to play Ultra Kill until it's all the way done. This is not good, folks. Ugh. Why does every American say the first lawn amendment is the most important? Oh, you all are you all are still on lawns. I'll tell you this, I was on the lawn this morning. What do you mean by that? You may ask. Well, I'll tell you. I was outside. <laughs> lawn cell, lawn cell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Ugh. I don't even think I can do this one. As much as I want to do the snake that's shitting, I think I can't. Hmm. Crush, thy end is now. Weak. All the government workers have the day off? What the fuck? What do you mean all the government workers have the day off? What? What's going on today that you all get the day off? DC Emancipation Day. What the fuck? How come I don't get that off? I live close enough to DC. Are you a government worker? In a sense. You know, I know Joe Biden's a fan. Joe Biden, wake up. Would you whip me if I was an indentured servant forced to care for your estate? If you were on my... If you were on my land that had been given to me in Fief Complete, if you were on my land and failing to work the land, failing to make quota, yes, yes, there's, there's plenty of serfs in the sea. Yes, I would, I would strap you to one of those medieval torture devices. I would, I would exercise the right of prima nocta, you know, and not with your wife, with you. And maybe like, maybe I'd do those last two things at the same time. Maybe I'd like, make sure you were into it first, you know? Maybe we can come to an understanding about this whole situation. Say, how would you like to be the, uh, the spouse of a baron? Anyway, uh, yeah, there's a lot going on today. Um, I guess we should get on the Japanese train. I'm just not really feeling the Japanese train today. Is there another? Let's do let's do train POV. Ooh, Bergen to Myradal. Ah, uh, that's got to be Bergen, New Jersey. This is an Indian train. Okay, I could fuck up an Indian train. Whoa. Oh, they're on some type of other shit in India. Oh, my God. Now, this is a tunnel. Holy. This this tunnel is not done. What the fuck? This is a hole. <laughs> this looks sketch as hell. You know, uh, unfortunately, I would wager this is a safer tunnel than 80% of the stops on the MTA. I would probably wager that. When you ride the MTA, you get the sense that, like, there's there's electronics that no longer serve a purpose down there. Like, they were, they were set up so long ago by people that are so long gone that it... Oh, my God! You're telling me that that dog shit ass tunnel ended with the most beautiful, iconic, perfect vista I've ever seen in my life? Are you kidding me? Look at that. Wow, that's so pretty. 
Oh man, we are we are gonna have to spend some time on the Indian tunnel, or on the Indian train. No, but uh, I shouldn't look out my train window and think, wow, what a time capsule. Sometimes you get stopped in between two stations and you just look at the wall and you go, there's no way all of these electronics do something anymore. <laughs> is the train named Chuggington? That is kind of a deal breaker for me. The train is not named Chuggington. My uncultured ass didn't know India got snow. You know what's crazy? I was going to be like, why did you Why did you think that, you fucking moron? And then I thought to myself, I was like, I don't... I don't know if I've ever seen India with snow. And now we're back in the dog shit ass tunnel. This tunnel is terrible. Oh good, there is audio. I was hoping there would be a little audio. This tunnel is so bad. What the fuck? I apologize to any individuals currently living in India. I, I don't mean to shit talk your tunnels this bad, but these are really not good. Do they get earthquakes there? Can we go back to the beautiful snowy vista? Yeah, I think we're actually just about to, to return to it right now. Here we go, ready? Oh, wow, oh my, a lake. I was unprepared for a lake. And we're back into the fucking tunnel. Okay, now this is a normal tunnel. And the lake, oh my god, it's so beautiful, and go back into the mountain. Uh, Jesus Christ, I, it's not even smooth on the walls. God, I hope there's a reason for that. They're just blasting this shit out with dynamite. Oh my god, look at those houses on the left. Oh, they're beautiful. Can you imagine just living in one of those? It's very cozy, you're right by the lake. Oh, man. And back in the tunnel. Anyway, um... <clears throat> Let's see if we can't get, like, halfway through here. Oh, this is the most replayed. Why is that, I wonder? Maybe we'll find out together. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. I'm having an alright one. I'm having a decent one. I always want to give, like, cool life updates on Tuesday, but nothing happens between Monday and Tuesday. The biggest thing was last night, this fucking food thing came across my uh, For You page. I don't have TikTok, but I, I refer to the shorts feed as the For You page. Um, and uh, it was this guy uh, making tiger eggs. And I've seen enough cooking videos that I just know he made them completely wrong. Uh, and... I, I was watching it and I was like, he was like, this beautiful... He, what was he calling it? He was like, this beautiful Chinese egg. And then all the ingredients were Korean and Japanese. And I was like, oh, this isn't Chinese. And I go to the comments, and all the comments were like, this isn't Chinese. And someone had linked their own recipe for tiger eggs. And I was like, oh, I'll click this. I'm just doing nothing. And I clicked it, and I was like, you know, I have every single thing in this recipe with the exception of uh, a specific type of wine. So I looked at my local giant, and they don't have it. So instead, I went on... They have it at Walmart, but I don't want to go to Walmart. So I went on Amazon.com and I got next day delivery for a dollar ninety of this wine. And it it got here early this morning, and I guess for lunch I'm gonna try and make these eggs. Um, this is gonna be my my adventure for today. What the heck is a tiger egg in relation to food? Uh, so the concept is you score the eggs. 
uh, and then you, you boil the eggs, then you score the eggs, then you fry them uh, in a neutral oil, and then you uh, cook them in a mixture of, chat's right, uh, that specific type of wine, I hope I'm going to say this right, Shaoxing, maybe maybe right, maybe wrong, who knows, uh, and a bunch of uh, uh, spices, and they turn out real nice. It's an egg laid by a tiger. That's true. No, the tiger refers to the skin that develops on the eggs. Sword soul accent. Chat encountering their second Chinese pronunciation. Shit, is that sword soul? You know two billion people speak this language, right? With billion with a B. <laughs> Did Peeps ever tell you he s talked about sounding on Danny's stream? Peeps is sounding good. I don't know what you're talking about. I've heard him recently. He sounds great. And he's pretty good at sticking stuff up his dick hole, too. <sighs> when I go to heaven and it's Chinese, I... Listen. There's nothing wrong with it. That's fine. I just... I didn't think it would be Chinese. <laughs> That's like my favorite video on the platform. It's so good. Uh, we'll watch it real quick in case you're unfamiliar, and then we'll do Freaks. We'll do something akin to Freaks. I, I got a couple that I didn't do last time. When you get to heaven, but it's Chinese. No, it's fine. I just, I just didn't think it would be Chinese. <laughs> I love how he says it. No, it's, it's fine. I just, I didn't think it would be Chinese. No. I just, I just didn't think it would be Chinese. Is all. When your Lancer cookies are done. Do, 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 do. How Washington D.C. fixed their metro's biggest problem. Ah, okay. It's never too late. It's never too late for a metro that has like nine total cars. Come on. <laughs> New York has ruined me. All right. Do, 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 All right, we got some freaks today. Twitter freaks. Oh, why'd you go and say that Twitter freaks is... Oh, it's going. Oh, okay. why'd you go and say that Twitter freaks is... You know, we don't have to do the jingle today. Let's do, let's do what it's like to talk to Danny. But I listened to him constantly using the N-word. That's the N-word. And he's constantly using it. All right. So we're going to begin with uh, with this. The gaps. Do you know you can pick up tea with a spoon? Uh-huh. But not with a fork. Wait, really? This is because of the gaps. Oh, Do you that's very interesting. I, I would agree with that, I think. All right, next up. <laughs> As someone with an extreme fear of nuclear war, I've made the decision to move the family somewhere safer. Rural North Dakota, about as far as you can get from population centers. If nothing else, we'll be safe from the warheads. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Clueless? Yeah, I, that's the joke. I love the community. Rate proposed community notes. The circled area is... Oh, boot! shut the fuck. It's a joke! While it is a joke, it might be interpreted as fact. Yeah, that's how good jokes work. <laughs> oh, my God. My strategy in a nuclear war is to die quickly. We're close enough to D.C. Any nuclear weapon worth its salt will vaporize us in one second. See ya. <laughs> You're going to have to pick up the pieces of this one. No longer my problem. Next up. Guys, the nearby gay bar is having a furry night. I should go. Never mind, I misread. It's fucking bear night. I am the Fujo at the bear night right now. And of course, the the post in question, bringing Fujoshi's sister to local gay bar, and she's so excited, but it's bear night, and she starts crying and throwing up. <laughs> so true. Ugh. 
Where were you when you found out House of Decline was trans? YOLO swag, call me on phone. In the middle of making another Kelly ripoff. No, I said. Here right now, shitting with a fever, the eclipse. You know, I'm just a little cis boy, and I would... I would never want to speculate about any of this with anyone, but like, like no duh, right? <laughs> uh, uh, one of the best accounts on the platform, House of Decline. I, I, I hope I don't have them muted. It's every day. It's a, it's a question as to whether I need to mute them or not, because if one of their comics shows up on stream, there is an argument that it breaks t uh, terms of service. But I do want to see the comics. Next up. I really want to top Raleigh, but also that PS5 looking kind of nice. Fourth time's a charm. One more run. Okay, so Foxy has gotten second in three consecutive Challenger Cups, which is funny as shit. Building an army of these little rescue rabbits. But I, I wanted to highlight this because what, what is going on here? Okay, so first place you get PS5, you get a jacket, a hoodie, a plushie, white sleeves, black sleeves. What do you get for going second? A Razer Kishi V2 Pro? So, if you're unfamiliar with this item, as I was, I had to look it up. Uh, it's not a game system. It's those two things on the side. It's two... Uh, Nintendo Switch style things that attach to your phone and enable you to use your phone as a game controller, right? Uh, the problem with this is that Master Duel does not have controller support on any of its mobile platforms, right? So <laughs> who is this for? You can go get uh, the Razer the Razer Kishki V2 Pro by getting second and go use it somewhere else. It's for cross duel. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think someone someone was in here. And they were like, "I love to use my Xbox 360's remote play compatibility to remote in and play Master Duel using my Razer Kishki V2 Pro." <laughs> That I just don't understand why they have it. Like, is Razer a sponsor of these events? If so, surely they can do better than a $100 game controller for a game that doesn't support it. Oh, did they just have one in storage? Is this Billy Brake's personal Razer Kishi V2 Pro? And he was like, I, I don't really have a use for this, but I'd feel bad. It's crazy. Hot take, the hoodie looks bad. The hoodie does look bad. Regrettably, the jacket looks really good, but the hoodie looks like dog ass. The pl I do want the plushie very badly. Ugh. All right, next up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to need this to be bait. I'm going to need this to be bait. This is a whole thread. Why you should inbreed with a relative, a thread. Inbreeding is a taboo worldwide, but there is another reason for it than what you think. Inbreeding is taboo because everyone everywhere, and animals too, wants and does it for some reason. The healthy ones seen below. Everyone wants, wants it? Everyone. <laughs> Readers added context. No, no. I don't need to know any context here. Inbreeding is the only natural mechanism revealing the defects in your bloodline and genetically purging them. Revealing the defects in your bloodline. Oh. Okay. I I see what's happening here. All right. That was... Okay. I. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Those who do not have such defects probably are cleared of it. The opposite is true when you outbreed. 
breed with the foreign. Okay, and avoiding inbreeding depression like a boss. <laughs> this is I'm always saying this. This is a this is a good this is a good meme. When outbreeding, sure you okay. I see what's happening here. Okay. Yep. All right. <laughs> this is like when I was what I was talking about like 15 uh, uh streams ago about having the they live glasses for online posts. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. With inbreeding, correct parts whether physical or mental are harmonized with each other's. A big heart in a big rib cage and artistic values in an artist's abilities. Oh, who can forget? <laughs> The genetic component to artistic values. They got, I mean, they got some kind of value. It sounds are artistic. Breeding true is only achieved through inbreeding and allows you to increase the certainty of passing on the traits such as jaws or IQ. I can think of one particular jaw that was very passed on. It was, it was very passed on. When pi you pick a mate for a trait, make sure they have many relatives sharing it, or you might be disappointed in your children. Oh, wow. We have destroyed the only way to improve ourselves and morally bound it to make sure it will never spring out of its undeserved cage. This guy thinks that inbreeding is the way to make the Uber bench. That's crazy, right? He's like, no, there's only one solution to creating the ultimate warrior. Fucking your sister. That's unbelievable. Wow. Inbreeding purifies your blood and creates order when done right. So let's inbreed as the earliest kings did so and became our gods. This is a cuck mindset. We, oh my god. We must return to inbreeding so other people can rule me as gods. Jesus. And yes, the Afro-Arabic inbreeding is generally a bad one. Oh. Oh, was it? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. The same with late royalty and dogs. Whoa! Shut the fuck up! I will not tolerate pimpy son op slander on the TL. And no, I am not advocating for pedophilia, typical incestuous degeneracy, porn envy, or dumb abusive practices. Oh, thank God. He got out in front of all of that. And now I see that actually there's nothing to be worried about. I, <laughs> Nor am I trying to justify my relationship. Sadly, as I am with someone of my race. No! <laughs> Imagine being this person's spouse and being like, honey, do you, do you want to fuck your sister more than me? He goes, yes, but regrettably society won't let me. I don't. <laughs> wow. Anyway, if you need to know who this person is, they're actually a well-known individual online. They, uh, they're the current CEO of Folgers Coffee. <laughs> Oh, this is the longest and most academic justification for thinking your cousin is hot. Most people do think their cousin is hot. That's incredible. That's so good. I, I, I saw this tweet months ago that was like, I love when sometimes people just presume something as part of the human experience and reveal that they have a parasite in their brain that no one else does. That's so good. Oh, Miwa, thanks for the raid. Guess what we're talking about? Spoiler, it's not Yu-Gi-Oh! It's something else. I am writing a book, a setting, and a game where all my ideas and research... Gush! Gush book mention! Sadly, I cannot associate yet this profile with my endeavors. That's amazing. Real quick... I, I gotta say, I love fucking weird-ass people. Always pick exactly this picture uh, for the covers of their ebook. Apparently justifying incest, right? 
but I will forever associate the cover of this ebook with understanding gush. Let's see where we are now. Strategies and tactics, third edition. Oh man. Someday I will understand gush, but it's not today. On April 24th, 2017, the DCI announced that Gush was re-restricted in vintage. Despite this, understanding Gush remains a relevant, timely, and invaluable resource for any vintage player, beginner, or ex expert. Even restricted, Gush will continue to power a significant and high-achieving part of the vintage metagame, as Steven demonstrated by top eighting the April 2017 Magic Online Power 9 Challenge with Jeskai Mentor. As recent tournaments results illustrate, Gush is prominently featured in a wide cross-section of archetypes in the current and foreseeable vintage metagame. While Gush Bond has suffered a fatal hit with the restriction of Gush, Dakdel Dra uh, Draw Engine was already the preeminent draw engine in Gush decks after cons, even with Gush restricted, this draw engine remains one of the strongest draw engines of the format. The guidance provided here on how to design, play, metagame, operationalize, and combat gush strategies is vital to success in Vintage. Alright, let's actually see if that's true. Uh, God, people are still playing mud. The year is 2024 and people are still playing mud. Bizarre aggro, bug midrange, demir control, and let's try a combo deck too. All right, let's, let's see it. Wow, it looks exactly the same. It's crazy. 55 years have passed, and a single new card has been added to mud. That's beautiful. All right. Bug midrange. No gush. I'm not seeing gush here. Demir control? Surely gush isn't here. I'm not seeing gush. I'm not seeing gush here. All right, it's time to it's time to do the nuclear option. Oh, thank God. No. Commander pre-modern no, where are the real formats? Oh, thank God. We found one. Okay. You still need to read the book. Jesus Christ. I didn't realize pre-modern is this bad. Oh, my God. You want to play Basking Rootwalla Wild Mongrel for the 15th year in a row? I'm good, actually. Ugh. Okay, so we know Gush is actually not that powerful anymore, but how good is fucking your sister? This thread was a bait into an oddity of humanity and left unexplored because of morality, showing that maybe my world and game may try to expand into the weird for entertainment. Oh, okay, got me. Next up. How fast do... Holy shit, it's awful. Now, notably, this is on a phone where it is harder to text than to type, but you got to do better than that. Let me ask, do you guys use like the predictive text where you like smear your hand all over the phone and it tells you like what word you typed? Getting a lot of no's. I use that. It literally has doubled my typing speed online. Let me ask you this. This is going to date me immediately. And some of you Gen Xers in the audience may want to date me. Were, all, were any of you all ever good at T9 Word? Yes. I was insane at T9 Word. I was so good at it. Uh, I, I like... And the thing is, there was no artificial intelligence component, so it would always fuck up, like, a handful of words. And over the course of time, you just know that it will fuck them up, and you, you would, like, auto-switch off for those and then go back. I may have been one of the fastest T9 users ever, to be honest. T9 really felt like... It really felt like high-risk, high-reward. Like, you were fucking flying. You ever sexed with T9? 
no, because I, I need a little bit of freedom when I'm sexting. Like, if I'm like, I'm going to come, and I need to put 12 M's in there, T9's not going to accommodate that. Anyway, if you all aren't familiar with T9, let's see if we can pull up an old phone. Yeah, here we go. So... Okay, you see these little letters here on the bottom? Phones rather than a keyboard used to have these. Each number corresponded to three letters, right? So if you wanted an a B, you have to type two twice, right? If you wanted a, 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 a D, you had to type three once, right? If you wanted to type uh, the, you would type eight once, four twice, three twice, right? But that sucked ass. So uh, I think Verizon, maybe T-Mobile, invented this thing called T9 Word. And the way T9 Word works is it would use predictive text to run every combination you could have written with the individual letters found on the numbers you typed. So, if you wanted to type the, you would type 843, just 111. That saves you two keystrokes, and then the phone would go, okay, he is most likely trying to type the word the, because there's a T in 8, there's an H in 4, there's an E in 3. Now, the fuck up here was, if you wanted to type vid, like the, the V-I-D, and you typed 843, it would type the word the. It, there was no, it could not understand context. It would not ever improve itself. There was, I think there was like one that was so fucking annoying. I actually still remember it. 6-3 is both me and of, and there was one of them that it would always default to, and you'd have to manually type the other one, and it was so fucking annoying. But yeah, this, it was T9 Word was the name of the thing. And legitimately, once you got it into your head, um how uh how it would recognize words you were unstoppable you could type at a speed that no normie phone user could ever use can you show us how good you are oh this is this is normal typing this isn't phone typing but yeah i can i could fuck up a typing skill test i'm not i got to get in the zone oh Start typing. Okay. Okay. I already fucked up. Let's run that back. Pooned. Ooh. Seventy one. That's that's about where I end up. I <laughs> I'll never forget um, the uh, this is a pretty normal type speed for desk work. Yeah, I believe the average is forty. Yeah, but I'm a little bit above average. No, um, I remember when I uh, I I've probably told this story a number of times, but when I was in um in uh high school. Um, I had to take one computer elective, um, and this irritated me because uh, I knew what a computer was. And this was like, these electives were, <laughs> these computer electives were designed in like the year 1999, and they were like, uh, class, this is a keyboard, and like it was the most boring shit ever. And so a significant amount of my time in this class was figuring out how to not do any of the work. Um, 
but there was really only one metric by which you were graded, and that was you were expected to improve your computer skills over the course of the year, um, but if you didn't improve your computer skills, you would get an F, regardless of where you started. So we took a typing test the first day, and I got somewhere in like the 60-70 range in terms of WPM, and then they were like, all right, to ace this class, you will need to improve your typing score by 40 by the end of the year. And I was like, oh no. I was like, I don't think I can do that. So the way that, <laughs> the way that you proved that you had improved your typing skill was you took the test on your own computer and the test would generate a certificate, which you could then send to the teacher. So the certificate was just a PNG. So I opened up a little program called Photoshop one day, and I was able to change my number to uh, like a hundred. And I showed the teacher and she went, wow, congratulations. And I said, thank you. <laughs> And like, to be fair, the people, the other people in this class were typing at like 15. They had to get theirs up to 50. And I was like, that's not fair. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that shows computer proficiency. I kinda. All right. Okay. Let's do, what else do we have? Uh, I think we have one more. Yeah, here we go. I got this as an ad. What the fuck is going on here? This is literally just time cube shit. I was given this as an ad. It's just time cube. This site is so fucking over, man. All right. Very last thing. So this, this post went over yesterday from at pow camp survivor. You know, three weeks ago, I said, what a great name. And now I've seen him on my timeline every day for the past three weeks. And I go, God damn it. It's just another one of these like Kira won't miss type shit. I love British street food, a whole potato topped with unmelted cheese and baked beans. And they line up for hours for it. Ryder says, y'all are going to crucify me for this. But if a food truck on my street had a baked potato smothered in barbecue, baked beans and cheese there, I am outside there like a kid chasing an ice cream truck. Sorry. Hate to do this to you. 100% correct. I've talked a lot of shit on British food over the course of my time online. Uh, I've even talked a lot of shit about uh, baked potatoes specifically. I remember that one where they had tuna, and I, I maintain my anti-tuna on uh, baked potatoes stance. But I would fuck this up. I would fuck this up. It would not be difficult for me to fuck this up. Uh, I went on a, a deep dive because, like you, I am concerned that the cheese is not melted. But I thought to myself, I'm like, well, the beans are, assuredly, the beans are hot, which will melt the cheese. So I went on a little bit of an adventure looking up food reviewers in Britain who have gone to this exact uh, potato truck, which is called Spud Bros. And it is hot beans. It melts the cheese. Um... This is what it looks like after like two minutes. This uh, number one British guy, by the way. It's like, it's got garlic butter on it. They have all these different kinds of uh, fun things you can put on it. I'm sorry, I'm fucking this up. British baked beans aren't very good in my experience, though. They're like vinegar baked. No baked beans are great. American baked beans taste like sugar because they're baked in sugar. But I'll eat any bean at any time. I'm sorry. I would fuck this up. Beans on toast is so fire. Okay, let's not go too far. The problem with beans on toast for me is that there is no way the consistency and sloppiness of the beans elevates the toast at all. But a potato is a perfect vehicle for something like this. Clearly you've never been to Mexico. I've been to Mexico. The, okay. 
do Mexican people eat a lot of baked beans? Refried. I'm familiar with refried beans. Not baked, but yes. So no. Do Mexican people eat a lot of baked beans? Well, not baked, but yes. No is the answer you're looking for. No. Not yes. Not baked, but yes. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would be fucking this up. I hate to say it. I would be fucking this up. And the the thing that he's currently putting on isn't the beans in a tube, as, as some have expected. It is a, like, a, it's a chipotle spread that they put on top. And, like, I could fuck it up. I'm sorry. I could fuck it up. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I could fuck it up. I stand firmly against the tuna on the, uh, on the potato, but speak your truth, Ryder. I would be fucking the shit up. And I was thinking about it last night, and I'm like, damn, I really want a baked potato now. There's a place around me. It's not too far. Like, it's it's a drive, but I can make it. It's in downtown Annapolis. It's called uh, Potato Valley. And they sell, like, these crazy good loaded baked potatoes. And there's this one I like. It's, it's Cuban chicken. And it is chicken and this, like... Uh, chipotle mayo and it's all the ingredients you would find on like a cuban sandwich it's got veggies and there's little chips in it fucking hell now i want a potato <sighs> how do you live your life day to day with the knowledge ball joseph isn't just prob probable it's inevitable you know it's rough siberian i don't think i will ever go bald i hate to do this to you you see baldness is a um it's an expression of having too much testosterone in your body, right? But me, I mean, have you have you seen me, right? <laughs> and moreover, baldness doesn't run on either side of my family. It's crazy because it seems like I should be bald, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Is meatloaf any good? Isn't that an American meal? You know, meatloaf is one of those meals that you have like once a year maybe, and I actually used to be a bit of a, a meatloaf Andy in that my mother makes a meatloaf that to this day is one of my favorite things to eat on the planet. Of course, it has a lot of red meat in it, so I don't get to eat it that often anymore. But um, I cannot find another place that makes good meatloaf. I can't find a second location that makes good meatloaf. And my mom, listen, I love my mom a lot. She is, in terms of cooks, she's kind of mid-tier. She knew her limits. She didn't stray outside them. It was about consistency with her. And this, I, which makes me think the meatloaf can't be too impossible. Um, but no other place has a suitable meatloaf. I've had meatloaf, I think, maybe like 30 or 40 other places. And it's, I've had, I would say, probably two or three that are even remotely good. It's one of the, the highest ranges of, of food. It can be very good, but it can be dog water awful. Impossible meatloaf is really good if you haven't tried. You know, it, it actually is not bad. And the TJ's turkey meatloaf is not bad either. But I think I, I was trying a lot of meatloaf when I lived in New Jersey. And I think New Jersey people just don't understand what a meatloaf is. Like, I would go to diners and they would have meatloaf on the menu. I'd be like, oh, I'll have a meatloaf. And they would bring me like a rubbery sliced puck and I would be like this is a burger patty but it tastes rubbery and they go well that's meatloaf and I go no no it isn't it's not that my wife makes meatloaf with cream and dried French onion soup mixed into the loaf Chuck Moritz can you DM me that recipe that, that's insane. That sounds so good. 
if you don't put oats in your loaf, you're doing it wrong. See, this is the other thing is like the range of things you can put in a meatloaf is crazy. Uh, Jillian always tells the story of one time her mother put blueberries in the meatloaf. And she was like, why did you do that? And she was like, just seemed like the right thing to do. And it was not the right thing to do. But. <laughs> All right. Let's get on with it. My dad puts olives in meatloaf. Oh, that sounds real nice. I'm not going to lie. First time catching your stream. To challenge the last chat rule, now that Aeromages have a fusion monster, does that mean it's Predaplant support? Yes. Le Bomboclot. This is... This is the most... The biggest brain rot I think I've seen yet. This, to me, is more evil than Skibbity Toilet. It's like the concept... The concept is that <laughs> I can't even describe it. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. New cards, pog champ, new cards, pog champ. Let's begin by watching this video. Who is going to... Is it going to be Doug? Show me Doug. Three, two, one. Doug. In Phantom Nightmare... Nope, You were own. introduced to Vados, the eruption dragon of extinction. They got him out of the closet, destroyer though. Destroyer of the city He's Obscene on like a, and its like a people. shore. At Legacy of Destruction, you'll There's learn of the loud. terrifying powers that were unleashed in the battle with Vados and how to wield them in your own Ashen deck. When facing off against an ordinary foe, they're at their strongest at the beginning of the battle and their strength wanes over time as injuries mount and fatigue takes hold. That's hilarious. We didn't print a late game for this deck. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. They get worse. <laughs> Vados, however. Okay, here's... this. Okay. Vados gets stronger over time. And also, this is a new card. Uh, this is so this archetype I have a lot of high hopes for it's because the first archetype is this like really good advantage time. engine that just doesn't I have a home because there's only the four cards in it. Cycle of life and death, and fusing them onto itself. Vados' destructive capabilities are multiplied. Oh my God, he Vados, sucks up dead guys. Dragon of endless darkness exists to snuff out the light of hope in your opponent's eyes. It cannot. Be oh my God, it's a fusion. What the fuck? It's a pyro fusion. Okay. Two level nine or lower pyros. Well, that's that's going to be easy to summon. Can't be destroyed or targeted by card effects. Destroy all spells and traps your opponent controls on summon. When your opponent activates a card or effect on the field, send a face of Ashen you control to the graveyard. Destroy that card. All right. I mean, that's not that's not bad. Card effects, and your opponent cannot target it with monster effects. Upon its arrival, its flames can wipe the field clean of your opponent's spell and trap cards. I love this fucking royalty-free music underneath it. Omni negate, let's go. There is no negate on this card. All of your opponent's monsters. Action to Endlessness is a new continuous trap you can set from your deck with the original. Awful name. Terrible name. Ashen to Endlessness. Just name it Ashes to Ashen. Kages to Kages, yeah. During the main phase, it could be Ashened to Ashes, too. During the main phase, you can fusion summon a Pyro from your extra deck using monsters from either field as material. Okay. And if you do, it gains 500 for each material used. Banish this card a Dark Pyro monster from your graveyard. All monsters your opponent currently controls become Pyro until the end of this turn. Oh, good. It works in the opposite way you would want to. Because you want to be able to switch your opponent's field to Pyro so you can fuse off with them. 
but you can't do that <laughs> until it's in the graveyard. Good. Aldanos. It's on field effect. Let's you fusion summon a pyro monster using monsters on either field. Oh, the field, field does it? Oh, good, the good, original good. Vados. Okay. If you do, the monster you summon gains 500 attack. But then it needs to be on the field to do the fusion. Used. So do you have to find another one? Vados, the Dragon of Endless Darkness, specifically requires the original Vados. Yes. Or more <laughs> oh. Other level 9 or lower pyro monsters. That can be the ash monsters on your field, as well as Vados from your opponent's field. Which then lets you use the original Vados' effect to destroy all monsters on the field, and the new Vados' effect to destroy all of your opponent's spells and traps. The new Vados would be immune to the destruction effect of the original, leaving your opponent's field clear for a huge direct attack. Now, if you've given your opponent a copy of Obsidian, the Ashen okay. City, then when the new Vados destroys it, you'll get to special summon another Ashen monster from your deck, and further increase the amount of damage you'll be able to inflict that turn. But Obsidian has another use. If it's on your field, remember that it turns your opponent's special summon monsters. <laughs> During your turn only. <laughs> He's describing a, a four card dark hole. <laughs> into pyro monsters during your turn. Fuck, man! So this is gonna wipe my opponent's monsters, field! You can fuse away your opponents instead. Decline to activate the original Vados' monster destruction effect and just leave all your monsters on the field to finish the duel in a flash. Ashen to Endlessness also has a type changing effect while it's in the graveyard. It lets you turn your opponent's monsters into pyros during their turn for an even more devastating. Sorry, am I crazy? That's not how you spell opponent, right? All monsters, your oppo net? <laughs> Please tell me it's like that in the fucking pack. Please, I am begging you. Pimpy Sun Opponet. Stating Fusion Summon. Shaman of the Woo! Ashen City. Okay, new main deck, guys. Can shuffle three of your burnt out pyro monsters into your deck. And burnt out pyro monsters. That was funny. Thank you, Jerome. That was pretty monsters. good. I'm not going to lie. At the same time, if your opponent controls a pyro monster with 2,800 or more attack, Spearhead of the Ashen City can be attributed to return one of their cards to the hand. Okay, they're just going to make me actually read these. If Obsidim is in the field zone, you can special summon this card. You can only special one Shaman once per turn. Target three of your Pyro Monsters that are banished in your graveyard. Shuffle them into the deck. Then if you shuffle an Ashen, add an Obsidim from your deck to your hand. And then Spearhead. If Obsidim is in the field zone, special this card from your hand once per turn. If your opponent controls a monster with 2800, tribute this card. Target a card your opponent controls. Return it to the hand. Useful for putting Vados back in your hand to use again. Useful for putting Together, Vados back in your hand to for see some reason. Rank four monster, like Infernal Flame Banshee. Even when it's defeated, oh. Vados will get a new lease on life via extinguishing the ashes. Send a dark pyro monster from your deck to the graveyard. Wait, are there any other fun targets? Then you can add a level five or higher pyro monster from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, good. It, so it <laughs> it works the same way Ice Barrier does. For the rest of the turn after this card resolves, you cannot special summon from the extra deck except pyro monsters. You can banish this card from your graveyard, fusion a pyro monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material. Okay, that's nice. Wow, this card's really good. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't really... It's trapped in this fucking archetype. By sending any dark pyro monster it's also funny that it's like, graveyard. yeah, the this gimmick is you could fuse with you your opponent's monsters, except for this fucking fusion spell activate. that says your monsters. Then, you can use its fusion summoning effect in the graveyard to immediately bring out Vados, the Dragon of Endless Darkness. Alternatively, you can fight back against enemy monsters. Rekindling the Ashen. Place one of your Ashen cards... Oh, does this search rekindling? That is banished during your graveyard at the bottom of your main deck and then target an effect monster your opponent controls negate its effects until the end of this turn. Don't worry, folks. We've we've done it. If you thought four-card dark hole was too strong, we've printed <laughs> conditional forbidden chalice. Except by rekindling the ashen. Good. This quick play spell Good. puts one of your burnt out ashen cards back on the bottom of your deck to negate the effects of one of your opponent's monsters until the end of the turn. Are we still paying for the sins of Burning Abyss? Is that what's happening here? Cosmo was the fourth best deck at one WCQ, and they said, you are never getting another good archetype. 
Why didn't the Koreans get shit for fucking Bergastorma? Huh? Paleo was good for years. <laughs> I guess they don't really Your get exclusives anymore. Embers of the Ashen. Two pyros. Okay, this is the one you summon off the graveyard effect of the spell. Here we go. If this card is fusion summon, target a field spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Finally, access to Obsidim. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, destroy it. And if it is your turn, this card can make a second attack in a row. That's all it does. It's literally worst construct. That is shocking. It's legitimately worst construct. 2024, it's been out for a decade construct. Wow. That's so crazy, dog. That's unbelievable. Oh, okay. I will say this about this card. This card will see heavy meta play because of that material line. <laughs> Employ the power of fusion. Ugh, any two man. pyro monsters can be fused into the embers of the ashen, which can restore any field spell in your graveyard to your hand as well as automatically destroy any pyro monster it battles. If you do destroy a monster with this effect, and it's your turn, Embers of the Ashen can make a second attack in a row. Awesome. And one more thing before I go. Oh? Now is a pretty good time to have a strategy that fuses pyro monsters together. That's damn true. But if you're planning on fusing your opponent's whole board into Vados the Dragon of Endless Darkness, mm -hmm. Try to make sure you're doing it on your turn. So that you're <laughs> that's that's when you want to do it. <laughs> two Vados effects are chain link one and two, and any recursive effects of your opponent's monsters, Snake Eyes, Plan Bear's Dragon, for instance, are at chain link three or higher. You want all of your opponent's effects to resolve first, so that your Vados effects take everything out. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! is well known for its finicky, stupid rule n nonsense. Let's talk about how Seagawk works. As the turn player... As an added bonus, any on-summon trigger effects of monsters your opponent summons at Chainlink 3 or higher won't be able to activate if they're destroyed at Chainlink 2 or 1, since the monster that met its trigger condition no longer exists. Good. That's, uh, that's good. Well, you know, I hate to do this because I was so excited for this fucking archetype. I thought the first wave had such potential, but they're terrible. They're awful. I, uh, how many times are we going to do this? They're, they're just not good at all. The, oh man, they're not Tistina bad. Uh, but honestly, I think that's worse. At least Tistina was bad in such a cool and innovative way. They were bad to a degree that nothing has been bad before or since. This is just War Rock bad. It's just stuff. It's the these these cards are gonna bounce off the player base like fucking water off a duck's back. They're not gonna make any sort of impact. But you will see the one of them as a consistent fucking super poly target so don't worry this guy is going to irritate you but not because of the archetype he is found in wow i guess theoretically people are labbing out playing vidos as a hand trap to beat field spell decks for one very specific deck that needs a field spell but nah man i just like Oh, man. At least Gold Pride got tops. Gold Pride was nice. I, You know, it was not fantastic, but there was a period of time when it was a meta strategy. There was a period of time after it was a meta strategy that people were still excited about it. This is just nothing, man. This is really nothing. Goatee is okay, too. Goatee... Goatee's fine. The first couple waves of Goatee... Eh. But like they have they have tops as well. Goatee also has tops. Keef and Peak are are their peak. Psychus. B Trooper got tops too with Vertanaconda. Ba 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 European tops. <laughs>
It was Herman, right? He can win with anything. Lee, bro. Remember the pre-link one prank pranks top? I remember the pre-link one pranks victory. The YCS won by pre-link one pranks. Oh man. <laughs> I can't believe how mid it is. Okay, what look, vote on your phones now. Are comments off? Comments on or comments off? Ready? Three, two, one. Uh <sighs> They knew. Oh, okay. Here, the, thankfully, the music has been tagged. Oh, they, I can't find this music online. The new Ashen cards. More like the new Ashen cards. Folks, the new TCG exclusive wave is out today. But I wish. <laughs> All right, here we go. Introducing the new Ashen cards. You may have thought this archetype was flames, but after you see today's reveals, you'll think they need some more time to cook. First up, we're revealing a powerful new boss monster. This monster has the unbelievable strength of destroying one card your opponent controls, provided you open a four card combo. Say it with me, the OCG support will fix it. Yup. This TMT is going to be so miserable. This is not getting a TMT. What the fuck? Silly Billy and Jerome talk about Legacy of Destruction. This comes from Spee. Hey, everyone. This is Billy Billy. We continue rolling <laughs> through 2024 with an in-depth look at our next core booster. That's right. It's more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> Please clap. Stay tuned for a new video from your favorite content creators. Let's get into it. Here it is. Legacy of Destruction <laughs> draws heavy inspiration from Yuki Moto's most personal victory. Sex with a man. Similarly, <laughs> haven't you ever had sex with a pharaoh? No. Uh, the turning point was the revelation of which coffin was inside his gold sarcophagus. <laughs> Similar. This is so stupid. Early, you can get head at your local OTS and ask a friend if you don't. Now, to get the <laughs> most sex with friends possible, make sure to check and see if you have one. If you want a sex silent magician as well, two mad cheese not real oil. <laughs> Thanks, B. That was really good. Oh fuck. <sighs> Agony, man. Mm. However, uh, our cat recently got radioactive iodine therapy, and as you can see, this is a Geiger counter which measures the radiation. Uh, normal safe levels are under 100 counts per minute, and as you can see from the safety card, uh, over 2,000 is extremely high, and you should evacuate immediately. Let me show you what the value looks like when I hold this meter up to my cat. Uh, even outside the car, uh, we can already see we're getting up to a thousand counts per minute and it's already beeping, uh, sending an alarm. As I get the meter closer to the cat. Call the government! Oh my god! 
Oh my god! So Gray, according to this card, I should evacuate and report you to the government. Don't cut her with your cat after radiation therapy. Aww. <clears throat> Alright, we have one new card. And it's this one. And I'm going to make a video about it today so that we don't get new cards, PogChamp, today. There's a lot of new ones. Where? <laughs> there aren't. Okay, we do have this. Card game artworks. Final comments. The violent dragon with an intimidating aura summoned by Yugi Moto is reborn in a new form. The concepts tying the monsters together are gold, sark, gus, and light. I requested the monster included in this the monster included in this package had their composition based on this premise, but for this one I could feel the illustrator's creativity. It's as if their entire body was made to look as if it's heading toward the light called future. The inclusion of the word gay ass in the name is meant to be a message to those who are wanting gay sex. Wait, actually that's what it says. Are breaking or want to break taboos. But just like with final gay ass, maybe it also includes the desire to break taboos. Hmm. Uh, the taboos are uh, related to the Pharaoh's presence in this world. Well, I mean, in a sense, yes. <laughs> Here's a Yubel, the loving defender forever. Yeah, here is shooting majestic star dragon. Here is ultimate dragonic utopia ray. Oh, I never realized that he has an arm on his back. That's fucked up. Uh, ugh. Here's Arc Rebellion. Whoa, this card is crazy cool. What the fuck? We never get to see this. Oh, man. Firewall Dragon Singularity. Wow, this guy is bigger than ever. Okay, we all know what Nids looks like. We all know what Lulu Wilayath looks like, even if we can't comprehend it. I've never seen this guy in my life. Oh my, who, who the fuck is this? Doom Blaze Fiend Overlord Despericon? What the f <laughs> Rush? Okay, sure. Yeah, I was going to say, this is a maximum guy. And then last card, Vesper Girsu. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. If your opponent controls two or more monsters than you do, your opponent can send any number of monsters they control to the graveyard, and you apply this effect based on the number they control. Um, this is an interesting one. Uh, it is a cool card, um, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't think it's particularly good. I think there is going to be a scenario in which you activate this card against an opponent with a full board, and they are go, okay, I will go down to two. They go down to two, and they miss out on almost nothing, but what they have missed out on, and what they have lost, is their least impactful cards remaining on the board. Oh, I guess I did never look at these two. Okay, we have some. We have some. All right, so these are the uh, the first look at Animation Chronicle 2024. First, we have Singularity Fiend. When your opponent special summons a monster, you can discard this card in one spell. Destroy that monster. Not good. Not a good card. This is more expensive Ghost Ogre that is also worse. No, I mean, it stops activations. So it's more expensive uh, Beta that's also worse. Antique Gear Statue. Holy shit. It's Ancient Gear Skibbity Toilet. 
I stole that from Wolt. I didn't think of it myself. You can already you can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. If your opponent controls more monsters than you, you can special this card from your hand. You can tribute this card. There it is. Special summon one ancient gear golem or a monster that mentions it from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Cyber Dragon Lone Fire. This card's crazy. This card's really good. I don't think it will be the difference maker for Ancient Gear, but it is the first good card Ancient Gear has got in ever, I think. Next up, we have Vaxingale. Vaxed? Uh, this is a uh, two material rank three. This is kind of weird because this already exists and was played for a long time in Duel Links. Uh, but sure. Quick effect. Detach a material from this card, then target a monster whose current attack is different th from its original value. They become their original value. Then if you targeted a monster you controlled, it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. And once per turn, if another monster is special summoned to your field and this card has three or more materials, you can make that monster gain 900 attack. What? That's not the dual links effect. That's a, that's a different effect entirely. This is the Duel Links one, right? If this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calc, the attack of that monster becomes its original. And during either player's damage step, when a monster you control is attacking or being attacked, you can detach a material from this card. That monster gains a thousand attack until the end phase. That is a better card than this. What? Okay, well... Punk says Duel Links is so much higher power they had to nerf it. Oh, that's actually true. Engrave Soul Fist. Red Dragon Archfiend equipped with this card is unaffected by your opponent's activated card effects. Once per turn, you can change the attack of all face of monsters your opponent currently controls to the equipped monsters. And once per turn, when an attack is declared involving the equipped monster, target a monster in your opponent's graveyard, banish it. And the equipped monster gains attack equal to the banished monsters until the ends of the turn. Wow. That's like not playable. And Silent Magician level 8 is in QCR. That's cute. They were like, oh, fuck. The old Silent Magician isn't sexy enough. Uh, new Tachyon shit. They are really trying. They're trying so hard. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. If a Dragon Xyz monster is on the field, you can special this card from your hand to either field. If this card is normal or special summoned, its owner adds a Tachyon spell trap from their deck to their hand. And when a Dragon Xyz monster declares an attack, attach this card on the field to it as material. What does this do for you? It turns on Tactics and Thrust for free. Okay. Tachyon Cloud Dragon. It's Poplar! <laughs> you contribute this card to special a Tachyon from your deck. Holy fuck! <laughs> One, Poplar. Two, it's Lone Fire. If you special summon a Dragon Xyz monster, you can target one of them, attach this card to it as material from the graveyard or hand if it was. Okay, so they're just seeing, like, they're like, what can we give Galaxy? Clearly anything. Give him a poplar. Give him a lone fire. Give him, give him all of it. Swordschild two, Rothschild Infinity Dragon. You can only use the effect of this card's name once per turn. You cannot special summon from the extra deck the turn you activate this card, except for Dragon Xyz. If you control no monsters, if your opponent controls a monster with two thousand or more, special this card from your hand. And if you do special summon a level eight or light or dark monster from your deck in defense position, what the fuck? That's unbelievable. <laughs> and Draguxleon. If this card is special summoned from the extra deck, add a Galaxy or Tachyon card from your deck to your hand. Attach two materials. Special summon a rank 8 Dragon Disease with 3,000 attack from your extra deck. By using this card, you control as material. Then you can attach a Galaxy monster from your extra deck to it as an additional material. What are you supposed to get? Hope Harb?
or te- or one oh seven. <clears throat> if you control a galaxy, destroy all face up cards your opponent controls whose effects are negated. Uh, target a tachyon card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Target a dragon number in your graveyard, special it in defense. Can't tell if this is good. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. They said it! Roll credits. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. If you control a Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon Monster, you can activate this card from the hand. During the battle phase, detach a material from your Galaxy Eyes Xyz. Shuffle all monsters your opponent controls that were normal or special summoned this turn into the deck. Okay, you know what's crazy? This card actually is not particularly good. Because as soon as you add it, your opponent's going to know that you have it, and then they won't go to battle phase. Uh, and the alternative is, then it passes back to your turn, and you go to battle phase, but then you can't activate it because they were normally special summoned last turn. <laughs> it died 10 Pytech, I guess. And... Here's the lay. Josh raid. What the fuck? Josh was still streaming. Late day for the boy. You guys are just in time to see me finish up new cards, Pog Champ, and then we're gonna play a little roulette with Doug. I hope you all had a wonderful day. Uh, here's another you missed. Yeah, we'll we'll do this one. I have to ask Josh. Do we do we have the are you eating this? For me, it's a yes. Are you fucking with the bean? Open up the ultimate gate with Cosmo Queen, the Queen of Prayers. Info. All right, I will take the info. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. If a field spell is activated, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. Target a face-up card in the field zone, then activate its effect based on the controller. You destroy the target and get a... Oh, it's it's AFD. Your opponent negate the target's effects, and if you do, add a field spell from your deck to your hand. Unfortunately, I don't see the word quick effect on here at all. So... This, this card seems kind of crappy. All right, that's all the new cards, except for this one, which the video coming out today. If Dyer wakes up. Did we react to the leaked cards? We can't, chat. We cannot do that. It is not allowed. All right, let's bug Doug. Official video is out. Oh, unless you mean Ashen, in which case we already did that. Sorry. Oh, there's even more. Hey, everyone. This is Billy Billy. We can... <laughs> no, we're, not, we're not watching this again. <laughs> 3,000 people. What the fuck? Oh, it's the big Josh raid plus the 1.3. All right. So while I have everybody here, I, I guess I'll, I'll make my pitch. Folks, <laughs> uh, who's coming to rally? All right, we'll play a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh while we wait for uh, for Douglas. How does that sound? Oh, I'm getting a lot of scatters. All right, I, I do have one thing to plug real quick while everyone's here. And that's that we have a plushie. We have a plushie. You all have seen the plushie. It's coming out the 19th. It's it's got a, It's the little guy. It's the little lad. And if you're poor, and I know you all are, 
You can still get one for free simply by retweeting this post and liking the post and following at U2s. Jar is ready. Okay. Don't like hearing that. Here we go. Plug your podcast too. Oh yeah, watch my fuck Josh. Watch my podcast. We gotta get Josh on my podcast. Why is Master Duel not showing up? Hey. Asshole. Master Duel's running. Will Danny be making any changes to actually beat Unchained? I hope so. Hey yo. Hello. How's it going? It's going. <laughs> new ashen support did you read through that <laughs> yeah dog <laughs> it's uh you know well, I, I swear I, to god that we are being punished for winning worlds no 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 when they got to those last two cards the super poly target and the the quick play spell yeah like, there was okay, really so a they, cool they super knew, poly target in that deck and the, the quick plays they, uh, they kind of knew what they were doing you know if all the cards were on the level of that quick play spell <laughs> what, what is the quick play you mean the one that searches or the one that negates it's just in a gate, but that's the, fine. The negate is just like forbidden chalice with extra steps. How do you put it like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I again, the the super well, poly targets. I, I think the search spell is good. Effects. There's just not a good thing to search. The thing is, is the super poly target even better than summoning Guru? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that people got to experience what I experienced with Beat Troopers, you know, one last time. Yeah, uh, and, you know, and we got to experience the same thing with Goatee and with F.A. I hope, uh, and at with... my funeral, the world premiere cards lower me into my grave one last time so they can let me down. <laughs> I No, I remember you. we were talking and you were like, these new Goatee cards are crazy. And I just read them and I was like, are you sure? I feel like okay in okay, but they may think about the goatee deck before those cards existed. <laughs> I guess that's now, true. <laughs> even on the master duel ladder, I still play against goatee decks all the time. Yeah, Not they got the Zep time. in them sometimes, some of the times. And Zep, and do they have the new new goatee stuff in master duel yet? Uh, no, I don't think so. Wait, but was Arian Pass was a a second wave? Yes. Oh yeah. God. Oh okay. Yeah, so, you're right. You got me. Yeah, yeah, no. And uh no, I mean then they got like a third wave which was a little bit better, but the like, the so. um Keef and uh Pisicus. Those ones are nice. I don't even know what any of these cards fucking names are. The uh, uh yeah, Sinopos was one, uh the Z the Shif was one, the Zep was there. Wait, what was no first wave was what? It was Paces, Shif. Ascon, oh. Deep Beyond. Uh, Enonic? Enoch? Yeah, Enoch. Enoch. And then second wave and was like Ixip, Zep. Ixip, Zep. Arianpas. Oh, yeah, the traps. I don't fucking care about the traps. Yeah, that was kind of the problem was that the traps and the most distant Deep Beyond didn't really see play. So. Yeah, distant Deep Beyond is one of those cards that I was like, it could see play. Like, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! just has a lot of cards like that that are, like, just undertuned a little too much. Yeah. I mean, maybe you could say the same about every Ashen card. No. <laughs> I love that he goes, but remember, if you're going to destroy your opponent's field, try to do it on your turn. And I'm like, that's when you want to destroy their field. <laughs> yeah, you know, that is kind of interesting because it was, like, the trap card in the grave changes all the types. Yeah. But you would want to do it on their turn yeah. before you use it. And the field spell only changes them to pyro on your, your turn. turn, which is They not just want you to super... suffer, Doug. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah. It's it's rough. Thank you, Super Luigi, for Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Oh, but okay. big, yeah, big goatee news. They have yeah. title now. Oh, wait, chat. That's actually oh. crazy. That's, like, a big deal for them. 
Is it? Yeah. Well, I mean, if they open title. Oh, because it can banish title. two. What? It can banish two to summon itself. You can banish itself, two? Right? You can send shift a grave? It's crazy. Damn, minus one foolish burial goes hard. <laughs> no, I mean, that deck's pretty grindy, so it, it makes sense. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I think all the other matchups are a little more balanced than the... <laughs> that last one was a banger. I just needed a 10th person. No, I was telling chat, it was because like I was going to have Grandpa on with the Exodia pack, but then that's like half uh, Egyptian gods, which Ugh. is just like awful. That pack and is... then I was going to have Siegfried, but that pack's like dog shit. So. And also, like Siegfried is so bad for SEO. People do not care about that season. Yeah, no, it's like... Who wants to watch the Valkyrie? I mean, the Valkyrie pack needs like a like just you could just play a constructed Valkyrie pack, and it probably wouldn't beat any of these. Packs. What was Siegfried's thing? He was like a like a gay German. Gay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, those are the. I think he was a gay German. That was like his, that's what they wrote in the, the character sheet. You are ein pain in mein asshole. <laughs> that's, that's what he said. Yugi. Yep, that's During the classic Gay-Sex. Siegfried quote. <laughs> that's what he said. He's gay like, Kaiba. Yeah. Fair, fair. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. All right, here we Are go. Are you streaming? <laughs> My streaming? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm out there. We really out there. Oh, also, I'll announce to. Uh, well, hold on. Let me see this real quick. Yeah, I'll announce while we have some people here, if you guys watched the DZ Challenger Cup and were hoping to play in another one, but saw it was filled in two seconds because it was 64 players, I asked Konami to increase it to 128, and there's still about 20 slots open. So mm. you guys can join that if you want. <laughs> little self-promo Fuck, there. Don't, don't fucking say that. you got to tell me that shit. <laughs> hey, little... man, you had one lined up, and then you left. <laughs> no, not, not... I'm playing in your stupid thing, but I... Uh, I wish I was dead. Was really mad that he didn't get to play in yours, because uh, he is. I think he might be signed up. I think a lot of people because I, I posted it in the Discord first, so I think the people that were waiting did oh, get good. a okay. first first dibs at it. Yeah. No. Um. All right. Here. What we've we've been uh. Uh. I I I can't wait to uh to see who gets uh first place in your event and then watched Lexi get second place. It was oh, it was painful. She had like she she just was a she really was, unlucky. No, there was a game three hand. There was a misplay in game three too that she was really down on herself about. But it was like um, she is so fucking good. And then like just in finals for some reason, like the the stars will align to fuck her over. It's so funny. Well, and now it's like and you know I've been in this spot too, but. Each time you get second, there's so much pressure on the next yeah. finals. Yeah. You know, kind of like Jesse when he was getting a lot of second places in her. Oh, row fuck. Jesse like, could so be in these, right? Because it's open to Canadians. Yeah, I think I saw him tagging um, Ryan Yu, I think. I oh, don't know don't if they could realistically play because no, no, no. YCS. But I, I'm literally really coming in the night before at the YCS so that in the morning I could wake up and do the cup and then go register. <laughs> <laughs> The um Fair. the circle I'm in has like four people at uh, Raleigh that are like, if we fucking eat shit day one, we'll just like, we'll camp out and just like <laughs> fucking four man this stupid fucking Kriparian one. Yeah, I mean that one has you know the big prizes. The big, it's five yeah, twelve. You can lose two and a half rounds. That's something right there. No, that's the one thing I think. I was saying that during the stream. I think that every single one of the tournaments needs one more round. <laughs> yeah. No, it's but it's I mean it is what it is. We when when we ran the uh the CSM, we did 128 seven round cut to top 16 and X ones weren't clearing wow. and they were pissed about it. And I I like I well the 3 is the 3 I actually think is defensible cuz it's like it's not that big. You just got to go and defeat it's just locals. Um Yeah. But the uh the five rounders where like three X ones clear is like okay I don't think so. <laughs> Come on. Yeah no there was uh it was really sad there was an Exo sister player that went X one um that didn't make it because they lost you you basically have to only lose against someone that went undefeated to have any sort of chance. It has to be your last it. round and it's not guaranteed. That's like so irritating. Yeah, but it it was rough because Exo sister player was actually like popping off. But damn. It happens. You just got to be luckier that day than the opponents, I guess. That's how I feel about the three-rounders. But, like, 
the seven round I played, I felt like it was like, oh, good, you can go X two, like that's fine. Like I think that yeah, the that's the, like the, a little regional. Getting you need to you need to fight them. By the way, be like, why are you giving Crip the big ones? Give me the big one. <laughs> well, you know, I'll tell you that um, when I agreed to the rate, I thought I was hosting a one. You know, it was all kind of last minute. I thought I was hosting a one twenty eight and a two fifty six. Oh. So that's kind of like the the rate that I negotiated on. And then when I saw that the second one was 64, I was like, you sauced them. Uh, <laughs> that's a little small. And then I messaged them. I was like, can we increase this? And they're like, well, we can't pay you more. And I was like, I don't need more money. I just <laughs> I like, think it's better. You're for paying the me enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just, I think it's just better for, you know, and they, and they were saying, you know, they were very accepting of it. They said that they just want, you know, the most amount of people in there, but the Friday tournaments have been harder to fill except to mine filled in, five seconds yeah. so you know a little, you konami know, you know the drill you contact me i'll get you a 5 12 on a friday at 1 p.m filled in 10 minutes we'll, <laughs> we'll do this shit together <laughs> yeah honestly konami you like mech knights a 5 12 with us hosting would actually be like pretty oh, fucking man, dude. it'll never happen but yeah it'll... Uh, yeah it'll never happen what do you mean you you already are hosting one all it's required is for them to work with me it seems pretty easy we're, we're halfway we're there we're halfway there <laughs> <laughs> just... okay well we should probably spin this wheel probably yeah, yeah you're not going to raleigh right no no fuck okay poor. Yeah. let's spin the wheel yep <clears throat> all right nope Welcome back to another episode of Character Roulette, the series where we spin a wheel with characters on it and then play their decks, opening their pet. Why am I? That's the intro. Welcome back, Welcome to, back to Character Roulette. Roulette in this series. <laughs> Welcome back to Character Roulette. We are here spinning a wheel with dual ma No, what is it? Dual monsters? Jesus, yeah. this is a tough morning. <clears throat> Welcome back to Character Roulette. We have a wheel full of Dual Monsters players, and we are going to be building decks using their cards. And uh, going off of the feedback on the first episode, thank you guys so much for the support. We are going to let Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, and Dark Magician get three copies of those vanillas. I think that just makes the most sense. Um, the Blue Eyes pack is already kind of rough, and those other ones are kind of rough, so I think that at least gives them a fighting chance. Um, you won the previous episode. You kind of demolished me. Actually, I, yeah, I don't so. really remember. Did I win that one? I feel like it was pretty close. Yeah, right? yeah. I think I blacked out and then yeah, woke yeah, up yeah, 03. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is your for first spin right here. Let's see what you got. And also, you know, you do have to. Well, no. this is your favorite mm -hmm. pack. Are you going to no. keep it? Re-spin. Re re Re-spin. Why do you not like this one? It's. Why do I not like this one? Who knows, Doug? <laughs> Who knows? Oh. oh. The Dark Magician. Okay. Oh, do I have to go okay. craft Dark Magician? Ugh. You don't have any? Yeah, I probably do. I we I have the free yeah, one I from the Royal, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, you should. You should. Ooh, okay. What are, Let's see what, what I got here. All right, here, here we go. Oh, you're good. Ooh. Weevil. Okay, so the Insect Metamorphosis pack is like all the parasite, parasite, parasite cards, and then there's insectors in there, right? Digital bugs and insectors. I think I'm gonna respin that one. I, I knew a young a Doug one. who told me that digital bug was a top tier playable strategy. Oh wait, this is the one I got. I guess. <laughs> I think the last episode of these wheels will be a mirror match, but we're not gonna do. Okay. Blue Eye, Yugi versus Kaiba. Let's Yo, see. Now with this the is new crazy. Rule, with the new Guys, rule. come to my retro series where we play Yugi versus Kaiba every week. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Bat series <laughs> in this series. <laughs> okay, good luck with those pulls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, this is the uh, the SEO, you know. We, 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 we do what we got, a baby. <laughs> It's it's good. I mean, that definitely was going through my head when making this. <laughs> it's like, what if we get fucking blue eyes versus versus? <laughs> well, it's gonna be really funny when was, like, I I like let's say I lose, and then the next week it's uh, dark magician versus red eyes, and it's gonna be like we're not being yeah. the allegations, man. <laughs> what do you think? Just a little prediction. What do you think will be the last pack remaining on the wheel? What here? Pull up the wheel again. Let me see what you got. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, it should still be up. It should still be up. On oh, I Discord, see. Okay. At least. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, what the Honestly, fuck is the trap in the wicked? Oh, it's the... F 
Oh no. The Destiny Board Labyrinth pack. That one's pretty bad. I think I think it'll be that one. I think um I think the insect one is actually Yeah, I'm glad you took that it. That could yeah. be it. I think um In the tune one? The Pegasus is, yeah, maybe. I think like Harpies yeah. is cool. I, I think Joey's maybe too, but like whatever. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. Anyway. See oh, what are we calling the respins? We can't call them respinnies. Um chat vote on your there, phones uh i don't know chat you got any ideas you know it's like swiping right on or swiping le which way is is passing on tinder is it left or right we're like i have like no idea game. tinder's before my time man i was already yeah, locked in <laughs> you're locked in <laughs> yeah <laughs> Spinneret, yeah, that's that's really great. Anime the fault redraws. in our star chips. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh that's, <laughs> that, that makes a that's... lot of sense for a pass. <laughs> okay, okay, see you, see you. Bye. <laughs> this is all. This is the fever. This is the gas leak episode. Okay, what what is what pack did I get? I don't even remember. The, the dark magician pack. Oh, thank God. Thank the fucking Lord. All right. Oh, whew. do not have to craft any goddamn DMs. All right. What, what's the name of the pack? I literally don't even know. What is it's probably something stupid like the bond between the teacher and student. Dark magician pack. Yugi's fat dick. I'm pretty sure the name of it is not Yugi's fat dick. Magician of Dark. There's no way that it's named Magician of Dark. Google it to be sure. Oh, okay. Okay, we actually have three of them. Vortex of Magic and Darkest Magic. Oh, Vortex is a structure. Okay. Darkest Magic. All right, here's what Doug doesn't know. This pack is fucking terrible. This pack is so bad. Okay, so... The card we use to get into the pack, we don't get to play, right? We just craft at the end. That's easy, because I actually... I know what we're... Uh, oh, we have every single card in here, don't we? Oh, we may not have Salvation. That's kind of... No, we do. You probably have three of all of these because of the fucking, um... Giga Pack. <clears throat> All right, here's what Doug doesn't know. This pack's not great. Uh, it's fine. Um, as long as we can get, like, dark magic circles, we're probably in it. Eternal Souls are rare, which is like a resource loop that probably no deck Doug is going to pull is going to be able to contend with. Uh, dark magic attack is really good as a search off of eSoul. Yeah, really just eSoul is what we care about. At ultra rare, obviously, we want... Um, Cards like Magician Souls, Soul Servant. Uh, the Dark Magicians is fine if we can get like the fusion stuff to facilitate it. Uh, I could take or leave pretty much anything else in this pack. All right, chat. Let's let's see how how batting we can get today. Let's see if we can beat the bats per second record. Wow. 
Wow, okay, off to a good start here. Oh, Master Plan. Wait, that's a level 6 uh, spellcaster for souls when we pull souls. Wait, that's a Noah Punk Ogre Dance for when we pull punks. <laughs> what did I say when we pull souls? This is fucking two seconds later. Is that a dire reference? All right, a bunch of uh, absolute shit, huh? Oh, it's coming out. Do you think Dark Magician and, and Dark Magician Girl get freaky? I always pictured their relationship as more like a... Um, I'll, I'll take Leonite. Like a, a respectful magician of dark illusion is good. Uh, like teacher and student thing. I'm asking because like... Uh, I'd like to get freaky with Dark Magician. Rod big, Eternal Soul big, Suship Shari red, not big at all. Do you think Ebon Illusion Magician and Dark Magician explore each other's bodies? There's the fusion spell if we pull the ultra rare. This pack sucks. Keep getting the Ice Jade E telly. You ever look at the art of this card? It looks like those AI things that are like name one thing in this card. Uh, Agro Cassis, I think. Yugi calls them brother and sister at some point. Oh, I read a Twitter thread today that wouldn't change my interpretation of them. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, Chronicle Sorceress, a card I've never read in my entire life. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. It's like a blue eyes white dragon piece of support that I get for some reason. Wow, we are getting just all out of the pack. Not that there's much to pull in the pack. We'll take Expanded. That's not bad. All right, can we end on a Hollow? These have been pretty miserable, to be honest. Oh, shit, it's Fire Engine. Oh, that's our second ESOL, so we can now get the playset with our craft. Oh, good, and a Spellian Circle. That's big as well. All right, well, you know, I mean, it, it was okay. We, we'll, we'll run the next 10. Mm. Like five paladins though they can smell when I don't want a card Okay, next 10. What the fuck? Thank you. Second Magician of Dark Illusion. Demok is funny. Combination. All right, Crush Cards, this is where you put the Drake video, where Drake says the word combination in a Jamaican accent. Thank you. Sorry I'm not giving you all a lot of reactions. This is just, like, really boring. Like, there's nothing interesting in these packs. There's, like, no good cards total. You know what, actually? We can we can make this work. What's the purpose of having Blue Eyes versus Dark Magician if it's not going to be full of just, like, pogging the entire time? I'm going to see if I can break the world record for batting. That's our ESOL playset. That searches ESOL. 
Oh my god, wow. I'm passing out. Okay, it's in the pack. <sighs> Holy shit, okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's painful. How do the people in my comment sections do that all day? <sighs> Geek boy. <laughs> Wait, we can almost play fucking Sue Ship. Second circle is pretty big. Wow, that's huge. Alright. Will we get... I think we need, what, the vanilla sous ship? And if we do, we can play that. Okay, whatever. Craft the ship, it's good for content. Can we craft outside the pack for the, the normal? Uh, no. Oh, it came out at the very last second? Oh. Cool. What? Hold! <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Oh, we have the circle playset. Well, shit. Uh, now I'm in a weird spot because uh, I don't need anything. I, I don't know. Alright. I'm sorry, I can't put it off any longer. I'm gonna go take a shit. It's gonna take me five minutes max. I'm gonna shit with the force of a thousand wins. Let me throw you over to Doug while while I'm waiting. I'm literally just True. All right. But what if we could attack three times with neutron blast? You ever think about that? Is this card good? I can hold it. I can hold it. I can hold I mean, it. Not, not bad. I can hold it. If we can summon it. Okay. If you see me sweating during the episode, you're going to know why. Okay. How do we want to do this? Uh Oh my god, we have so many sushi ships. Oh, I have to call I have to call Doug. I forgot to screenshot. Tell Doug to go pick up. That's okay. I know what I have. All right, I'm gonna throw. I I will go shit. Right. Just sneak in ancient rules. Yeah, let me just do that real quick. Let me turn off my audio so I'm not moaning here on camera. Oh, that's pretty bad. We pulled two Doppel Warrior. Not really a lot of ways to special from the graveyard this time around, but when your card effect targets this card, you send one terrible. Um, this card's in your graveyard. You can target one blue eyes shuffle. Yeah, that's really bad. That's I mean that's unplayable. Someone's on the phone, they're asking for you. Oh, is it MBT that you're talking about? He's shitting right now? Okay, fair. What was his question? Anyone know? Probably play these two. 
People said you were shitting. Are you calling me from the toilet? Uh, yes. <laughs> What's your question? Uh, okay, so... <laughs> you know we, we craft the, uh, the N, the R, the SR, and the UR? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do they have to be from the pack? Um... I don't know. You know, I was originally going to put in the intro. You know, I can change the intro. No, you can you can craft outside the pack as long as it's part of the archetype. That that was like in the script and I legitimately forgot to say it. So Okay, the reason I want to craft is because it's outside of the archetype. Oh, then no. No, no, no. It's not generic, no. What what if I craft one Gunkan Su ship Shari? No. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no it's 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 in No, no, no. Please, I mean, you can just, you could just cheat. I mean, I, I just, yeah, I just told him like he can just cheat. You know, I think that'd be fine. Um, is this going to be in the video? I kind of want the shitting part to be in the video. Yeah. But I don't know about the rest of that. Kind of a weird statement to say out loud. That's, I mean, that's not good. That's revival, but not really good. Um... <laughs> that's that's kind of funny if i was him yeah i would just cheat make a little gag about it that'd be fun what mm. i'm getting a call from covington credit you think i should answer I love spam calls. They're great. Just craft concentrated light. Um, yeah, that'd be. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Do we play the dual tower? It was in the deck last time, but I don't know if it was like good. I think we actually play this card this time potentially. Um. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> this is so bad, but I'll play it. Jet is in the pack. Yeah, Jet's in the pack. Um, okay. <laughs> That's like the worst card I've ever read. Yeah, Rage doesn't do anything if you have Blue Eyes in the deck, but also it's like funny as fuck. So, do we pull any Ghost Tricks? No. Does that do anything? Uh, this is a, we'll play Fortune Lady Wind. That outs the um we can play a Time Lord. We pulled the Time Lord. What does this one do? Potentially. What what is Joseph playing? Dark Magician. Yo, combo? Hold. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to have to draw... Okay, how many... 
Poly do you think we should play? This card actually might not even be good in our deck. Um, like, I guess that's fine. That's kind of cool. Okay. I see you. Play Ultimate Fusion better than Poly. Yeah, but what if we need more? This card's so generic, you know? Okay. Um, let, I mean, I don't think we actually need this. Uh, do we need a 1900 vanilla? Probably not. Probably not. Um, this card's probably ass to... We need three white stone. I think we only play white stone at three if we end up crafting. Um, probably just don't even play this chaos stuff. It's going to be so hard to like draw exactly these two without any searches for either one of them. Do we play dual tower? I, I The reason it's in here is because we'll pretty much always win. Because we have 3,000. I don't think he has a monster with higher attack. This shouldn't be in here. I don't know why it's in there. This shouldn't be in here either. Um, neither does this need to be in here. This is probably terrible without any... This kind of looks bad. Hold on. We don't even have, like, dragons. Okay, hold on, hold on. I think we're going to have to put some of these terrible dragons in the deck. And then we just kind of go all in on fusion summoning. God, they're really bad, though. Soul Ivern? I guess so. It is probably the best out of all of these. Chronicle Sorceress could... Tracer? No, no, no. That's from Roulette. That's from Roulette. No, no. Chronicle Magician could put the White Stone of Ancients into the de or into the grave. I don't know. What are we thinking about these crafts? I, I don't really... I think Jet, actually. Nope, wrong button. I think Jet might be the craft. Just looking at the deck. Looking at the deck. I don't think we're going to do Synchro. I don't think we're going to do Ritual. So, in that case... Where the fuck is this? Okay. <laughs> Oh, alternative could be pretty good, actually, now that we have three blue eyes. Deep eyes could be a funny um, craft, actually. True light, not bad either. Maybe true light's a craft. Pretty strong if you can draw it. It's just like a one of, though. Could just go for, like, this, right? Another copy of this just okay i'm back I think thank you all so much for uh for chilling um the rare craft oh I man i was feeling like a doug said you could cheat um i'm not gonna i would never cheat i will play those two cards though uh okay what do we want to what do we want to actually play in this deck um we have one salvation. We got all three dark magic circles. We got at least two illusion magic. We got a soul servant. We got at least two secrets. I probably wouldn't play three. Uh, you pulled three Shari. Oh yeah, you're right. One rod, three souls. Three circle, one salvation. We did not pull three souls. Shut the fuck up. We pulled three M Dill. I know. Um Hmm. 
Hmm. This card seems really bad. Uh, I don't want to play Black Magic Ritual, please. I think we only pulled the one Dark Magic Expanded, which is kind of rough. That's like a pretty good card. Damn, is that really all we pulled? All the interesting cards we pulled? There's no way. Aren't there like little guys in here? Yeah, we have to play Chronicle Sorceress for sure. We pulled three of her. Um... The Dark Magicians, of course, yes. We didn't pull any robe? Really? No robe? Demok? I don't really want to play Demok. Yeah, I'm not seeing robe in here. That's fucked up. Pulled no robe. You got an Ikura randomly? Yeah, we have it in here already. Skilled Dark? I don't think we even pulled Skilled Dark. Is he in the pack? He's not. Oh wow, we have wait, we have Adam We have Adam Emancipator, Seeker, and Leonite. Okay, so this seems easy to me. Uh, our Oh, we have Combination as well, right? We have one combination. Combination. Uh, I think we do have to craft DMG as much as I wanna craft Apprentice. Yeah, our UR craft has got to be uh, Illusion of Chaos. How are we beating Chaos Max, though? Do we have an out to Chaos Max? No. That's not good. How many secrets did we pull? Did anyone go back and check? I know we have at least one, but I'd like we, us to have more than that. I think it might be worth, rather than playing IOC, it might be worth uh, crafting the Dark Magicians. They don't do anything? Yes, they do. What? They definitely do something. Don't you need Dark Magician Girl? We're always craft Dark Magician Girl. I don't think Polly's good. Polly doesn't resolve anything. Oh, wait, or one spellcaster? Yes, it does. Let me go back and check the uh check the VOD. Check the tapes, please. Oh, shut the front door. Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna. Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna. Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna. Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna. Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna. Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna. Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna. Okay. I wasn't gonna. Okay. I wasn't gonna. Okay. I wasn't gonna. Okay. 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 Okay.
I can't really tell without scrolling through it super fast. Uh, mm. Five paladins, though. They can smell when I don't want a card. Demok is funny. Combination. All right, crush cards. Uh, one combination. These packs. There's like no good see if I can break the. God, wow, I'm passing out. That's our useful place. Wow, we really don't have much at all. Oh my god, wow, I'm passing out. Okay, it's in the pack. <sighs> Holy shit. Okay. Oh my god, that's painful. How do the people in my comment sections do that all day? <sighs> Geek boy. <laughs> Wait, we can almost play fucking sushi. Bro, we didn't get anything. What the fuck? Okay, there's there's a secret. Pretty big. Wow, that's huge. All right, will we get? I think we need what the vanilla sushi ship, and if we do, we can play that. Okay, whatever. We have three secrets. Yeah, I'm just really concerned that we don't have an out to chaos max right now. I really don't want to craft Mahad. You can out Chaos Max with bonds between teacher and student. Wait, what? This doesn't do it. How does this out it? Not playing a thousand knives. Maybe we should play a thousand knives, but thousand knives doesn't do it either. Piercing the darkness can do it, but we didn't pull that card. Dark magic twin burst. We didn't pull that card either. Oh. Maybe we did. Okay, that's our out. I mean, this deck looks terrible, but what are we going to do, right? It's searchable by bonds. We can cut like one of this terrible card. All right, so my crafts are going to be um, Robe, Rod, DMG, the Dark Magicians. All right. Well, here's the list. It's fine. You know, nothing to write home about. Uh, getting three copies of Dark Magical Circle is pretty big, and obviously the E-Soul is insane, as is Magician Salvation. Uh, we were kind of scratching our head as to how we can out a Chaos Max. So our current best practice is to use bond between teacher and student to get dark magic twin burst um our crafts are going to be magician's robe for n magician's rod for r dark magician girl for sr and then the dark magicians for ur because we did pull three copies of secrets of dark magic i mean it looks fine but uh, th there is a pretty high chance that we just brick as dark magician is wont to do Combination. All right. Yo, are you well, ready to go? My deck looks like completely different than last time, even though it was the same pack. It's pretty weird. Your deck does? So. Yeah, like I got very different pulls, which I was surprised about. Interesting. Um, you end up doing a little cheat. <laughs> no, I would never. I would never sully the sanctity of of Master's Roulette. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Crocodile dude fossil pack. Oh, right, right. Jim Croc, crocodile dude. How could I? Crocodile forget? cook. 
Crocodile is, Cook. Is he Australian? I think he is. Oi, mate. Yeah, it's yeah. me, Crocodile I Cook. Mm -hmm. No, I think the GX packs are all terrible, except for Zane's, but I think that should be pretty funny. You don't like the nine heroes? No. No, I don't. Um... No, and I'm looking at this pack. Bastion has a fucking... Maybe I could take that one off, but it has the H2O cards in there, so I kind of want to keep that one on. <clears throat> the chemical cards. I was so jealous as a kid of Bastion's um, briefcase full of decks. I was like, oh, someday I'll have that. Yeah, I, I, I really liked Bastion, too, honestly. Bastion a nut. <laughs> How dare you use the Blue Eyes deck box? They don't have a, a Dark Magician deck box. Oh, they probably That's do, actually, really now surprising. that I think about it. Yeah. You know what I got to say to you, Doug, is that are you ready for this Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, uh, Green Eyes? Oh, my God, this hand is unplayable. I can't okay, so believe it. This is like the jar. worst hand the deck can produce. It's got three cards that I meant to search in it of five happens snake eyes players will say that and then still full combo it's so annoying <laughs> oh i drew the drew the ash. as a snake eye player i have opened up hands that are like three bonfire and poplar and been like oh no anyway normal summon ash yeah oh you meant i like wasn't lying doug un unplayable unplayable i'm not gonna go dia bell star full combo here Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like you're doing good too. Damn this! This is a this is a 100% blue eyes dark magician number one best deck moment. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, don't you laugh? I'm not Egg laughing. Pass is you know this is pretty strong. I would say um, you're on. Okay, a, that I'm not going to do the math, That is so fucking here. painful. You're kidding me! Wow. Oh, Soul Servant. I mean, that's yeah. a. I mean, that's a good card. Yeah. You won't brick next turn if you just stack your deck. I'm gonna attack you, dog. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. See you next turn, buddy. No way. What did you expect? <laughs> Can't you use? Oh, you need a dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh. Oh, this is a classic a dark magician red eyes moment. Oh fucking hell. I am. Mm, we're popping Guys, we okay. just ordered the Kaiba Corporation Happy Meal at 3 a.m. <laughs> Wait. Oh, my God. Oh, that doesn't work. Wait. It would work. Okay. There's a one in three chance I just kill you right here with the rage. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the rage. Okay, here we go. Come on, rage. Do you get to see what I added? No. I'm gonna activate ultimate fusion. Yeah. I'm gonna shuffle back this. I'm gonna shuffle back this. Mm hmm. I'm gonna make Tyrant Dragon. Mm hmm. Not sure if you're familiar with this card, but. I am. Um. Oh, wait. This card sucks. I just realized. Um. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It, it does suck, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, ha I couldn't do it. Oh, up to? Oh, I could have. 20. No, no, no. I, I couldn't have. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Go ahead. There was no way. To, there was no way to do that. There was no way to do that, chat. Tyrant Dragon is pretty good. Yes. Cards are being activated. Don't tell me you're passing on this. What do you think? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you expect? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what have you been drawing? Yeah. It's 
fine. Dark magicians! I've been drawing dark magicians, Doug. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes, <sighs> sense. That makes sense. Um. Okay, we'll hit that. Huh? Oh, from your graveyard, I see. This card's bad. 18? Okay. I gotta try. <laughs> try? What do you want me to do? <laughs> oh, Threatening Roar would go crazy here. Yeah, Threatening Roar or oh really any defense. <laughs> this card is so bad. Um, oh, I like that it you know gets three blue eyes animations. That's pretty cool. Pew! White lightning! Oh my god! I was legitimately if that had happened one turn sooner, I think I was winning. <laughs> I needed the life. Points. I couldn't do it because I opened the blue eyes, and I didn't realize that you can't summon anything again the turn that you activate. It's so fucking garbage. Mm -hmm. Would do. Do you want to go first or second? Also, how many Dark Magicians did you open that game? Just one. Uh, I will go second, I think. <laughs> yeah. I need that extra card, I think I'm, I'm realizing. No, I think you're right. I think that's it. White on white violence? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's literally not. What do you think the Dark Magician is? Oh, here we go. So wait, when does the these morphing jar graveyards? When does the little face pop up? Uh, once you find out. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Classic opening. Oh wow, that's that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um. How let's good? Let's go. I begin with the secrets of dark magic. Doug. That is actually a lot better already. Between our mm -hmm. first and second game, I got deep into the tank, and I've witnessed the secret secrets, the dark magic, the secrets of dark magic. I special summon my craft. Okay, so refusion. The dark okay, magician. Yeah, dark... Are you familiar with dark magician? It has a lot of effects. It's yes. a scary card. It does. Like, unironically. <laughs> Next, I'll normal summon Chronicle Sorceress. Oh, shit. Wait, you're actually... This card's crazy. Oh. Because I have a yeah. dark monster in my graveyard, I can send a dark magician or a card that mentions it from my deck to the graveyard, with the exception of Dark Sorceress. And can you guess what card I'm going to be sending, Douglas? Honestly, no. I cannot. A dark... I mean, Fool! What? I'll be sending Robe? the Soul Rod? Servant to the graveyard. Wait... Oh, or that mentions it. Now oh, I'll activate Soul then... Servant. With a Dark Magician and a Dark Magician girl in my graveyard, I can draw two cards from my deck, and they're just the two I needed. I'll draw one additional card off the effect of my Dark Magicians, which will now activate Wait, because I've activated an effect. <laughs> and next, you're getting you're getting cooked, buddy. <laughs> Wait, that's actually nuts. That's um that's it kind is of scary. Mm. Um, I think I'll set one card to my field. And because that card was a quick play spell, I can activate it this turn. But I don't think I want to. <laughs> I'm just going to go combat. Yeah. Yeah, you'll save it. Is no, that your attack. white stone of ancients? Oh, the true light. I think you'll find that yeah, your light is preposterously light. bad. <laughs> oh, wait, you're going to get it out now? Fuck you. Wait. Oh, I I'm going to get it out now. <laughs> Can't out blue eyes. What the fuck? Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll still attack. Look, I'm not a game designer, but if I was, I would put every single blue eyes and dark magician artwork in the pack in in the game, and then you would be able to like pick which one you wanted. Mm -hmm. Nice attack, but because I have a blue eyes white dragon on the board at the moment, I can activate jet dragon. Now I know last episode you were making fun of this guy. But I feel like this episode, it might be a little harder to deal with. Oh, no. We may have a problem. Yeah. That's why I spent $5 million on How much are jets? Do you how, much do how much do you think the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon cost? I don't In really real know what jet prices. Yeah. I actually know because uh, Peeps bought them. Uh, I think, didn't they come QCR? No. 
No, like a physical jet. <laughs> oh. Like the one that Kaiba, this is based on the Kaiba one from the movie. Like how, how much? Okay. This has um, got to be at least 5 million Pepsi points. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go True Light. Let's, let's see what you're kind of working with. Let's see if he got anything. Uh, that is fine. Okay. Um, I honestly kind of want to set that, but I probably should just be trying to activate a card. You fool! Draw. By activating the Get effect of a spell trap, I'll activate the effect of my Dark Magicians! This card allows me yeah. to draw a card for- Oh! Fuck. That one's <laughs> really good, but, uh... I mean, it doesn't beat these assholes. Nice! Okay, let's activate Bingo. Yeah. Henshin a go go, baby. You ever play Beautiful Joe? Bingo Machine a go go, baby. You know, I, I haven't. I haven't. I always saw that at Blockbuster. Oh my God, I'm so old. I always saw that and I was like, you know, maybe I should rent that, but I just, I don't know. Oh, it's um, a ton of fun. Okay, let's add. We're just going to get the 100% here. Ultimate creature, I think. <sighs> oh, sorry. I was just. So excited by your uh, your ultimate creature of destruction. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you're excited for this too. I activate the ultimate fusion. That's fine. I don't That's give a fuck think. about this. This is um, nothing to me. What are you going to summon? Ultimate dragon? Probably. I guess I might as well. Yeah, we'll shuffle that back. I summon. The Tyrant Dragon. And are you familiar with the bonus effect of Ultimate Fusion? No. Because if you're not, prepare to get fucked. No! My Dark Magicians! What are you, stupid? I should have... What are you going to do? I mean, what do these guys do? They're just vanilla monsters. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I should have sure. done this first, because then you wouldn't have got the draw from True Light. Yeah, probably. Oh, but I... Yeah, yeah. Hey, keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> 23, huh? 23? Um, check this out. Okay. I normal summon Fortune Lady Wind. Watch this hit on the Eternal Soul. I hope you're really excited. I mean, this is oh, going to guarantee it. It's, oh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. I hope it's a 50 50. I hope, because I know one's a quick play spell that you set. So it's not that one. Okay. Okay. Watch this. I bet you would set it, it's, you know, it's the most powerful card, so it's probably the middle. Not only was that not it. This is Awaking the oh, Dragon. Oh, it has a waking effect, but it has to be face up. No! Ha! You fool. <laughs> I've, been, I've been cooked. I, I don't know what to tell you. knew that. <laughs> okay. Attack. This card can attack each of my monsters once each. Yeah, you know, you had Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, but I have... Ultimate dog shit tyrant tyrant out. Hey, this might be better against Dark Magician. Honestly, this card seems like it was designed to beat Dark Magician specifically. Yeah, I have like a lot of really cool cards that I really can't activate here at all. Yeah, no, let's take this out. Weren't these? I think all these cards were like released. There were like a bunch of support cards released for both these decks in the same set. I'm they were sure. close to each other, but I don't think it was the same set. Same set. Let's only bounce uh, face ups cards. Start target one. Oh no, it can bounce. No, it's crazy. Um, or apparently it can't. At the start of the damage. St oh, I don't control blue eyes anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually like such a frustrating restriction. <sighs> to be honest. Um, go ahead. All right, we are so fucked. Holy shit. I mean, your first turn was uh, we kind of insane. No longer fucked. Holy. Fucking mole. Are you kidding me? What? How can we I activate draw... the dark magic circle? This card allows Wonder me to look at my fucking card. deck. It's going to let you look at my nuts when I banish your whole board. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is kind of the missing piece. Wow, that's that's three bangers. Wow, holy. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll get Magician's Navigation. Mm -hmm. That's a good card. Next, I activate Magician's Salvation. Um. 
Okay, that is actually pretty strong. Let me read this card real quick. Turn one. It's unaffected by cards that are else destroyed by. It. So this can't be used. Yeah, that can't be used on this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Actually, it is pretty scary. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. How does this make you feel, white boy? <laughs> Dude, this How card does doesn't what do what you want, want, you dumb idiots. Chat chatting. Okay, end phase. We'll go true light. Yep. I think... Um, let's set a spell or trap. Let's get some. You got a lot of spell traps. Let's go for another spell trap. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's set the. I forgot this card existed. Vision with eyes of blue. I can see. Okay, five back row, no problem. Um,. I think first and foremost, I have to go E Soul here. Probably. Yeah. Nothing I can do against that. And Maybe as whack as it is, wind, I think I actually have to banish your stupid ass Tyrant Dragon. Uh, you can't, so I wouldn't suggest. Oh, wait, it's a spell effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep Never mind. talking. Never mind. Keep talking. Oh, and I can't even protect it with the ultimate creature because that's a trap. Oh, that kind of sucks, actually. Yeah. Um. Oh, and you get the free special. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can't do anything against that, unfortunately. Dang. I always think that it's Eternal Soul that banishes, but it's of course it's not. Yeah. They, yeah. they somehow made these cards a two-card combo. I mean, it was released <laughs> a while ago. But. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's a little... Mm. Oh, shit! Level increase. Oh, fuck! I wasn't prepared for that! <laughs> that changes everything! Okay, let's go Vision with Eyes of Blue. Okay. So... Interesting. Okay. I'm not going to activate that effect. Okay. I'm just flipping the face up. Tyrant is everyone's traps, you guys. Check this play out. This is kind of nuts. I'm going to bounce Fortune Lady Wind. Whoa! <laughs> let's chill to let's chill. Let's talk about this. <laughs> That's like a huge issue. Holy fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh uh... my God, dude. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Wombo combo right there. Yeah, I'll special. Um, I hope you got an out to this, because otherwise... Oh, good. You had a blue eyes as well. Yeah, yeah, I did. That's that's a heads-up play. Ice. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty good. Let's activate win. <laughs> oh, yeah, my well, God. I'm about to lose them both, so I think I'm going to... Oh, to add. Guys yeah. here. Oh, but back down to 900 attack. So, countered. What if I just didn't destroy it? No. <laughs> yeah. Like at this point. No, no. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's not good. Like, why did they put that on the card, you know? That's what, what? I'm asking. Uh, okay, we'll go Magician of Dark Illusion here. Oh, my God. Why? I didn't realize how this was going to play out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See ya? Oh, I didn't attack with the blue eyes. Uh... Don't worry. This isn't going to finish me off. Really? Oh, right. Yeah, you, you did get this. Yep. I'm um, sure. It's what? One from 
One from hand, one from deck. Okay. Damn, this is annoying. So, uh, I want to get rod nice really bad. Yeah, you know, I've never misplayed in these videos, so. First misplay of character roulette. I want to get rod, but then you walk into the rod. You do 14, and then you kill me with the wind attack. <laughs> <laughs> this wind is doing so much fucking I know chat wanted me not to play it and I was like this is like the best way to pop eternal soul I don't know what you guys are talking about I think it's this okay. what does this one do discard special summon oh god so you get even more Ugh. So annoying. Yeah. I guess I can do this, right? Mm -hmm. This will just bounce it. Oh, I'm just dead here anyway. Fuck me. White lightning. Number two. I got my ass beat. That was <laughs> that was not close. Let's run a game three. I think it was pretty close actually. You were you were popping off. I didn't know you were going to fortune lady wind my ass. Yeah, you weren't prepared for that, huh? I literally, I 100% was winning, but for fortune lady wind. <laughs> yeah. No, the bounce is, I mean, that's great. <laughs> Kaiba is better than Dark Magician. Mm. <laughs> There's another okay, this penis ass worse. hand. No! I need this sixth card, baby. Uh, do I even set this? Yeah, sure. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, are you the person that suggested the vision? Thank you, thank you. That was a good... I wasn't even going to play that card. You're right. How do you keep open this? Oh, yeah, okay. dude. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm not super thrilled about it either. <laughs> Welp. There's actually not I, a lot of um, normal summons in this pack. Mm. It's like yeah, it's this like and Rod, and we only pulled rod. one Rod. Okay. This is great. This is a great hand. Okay, I'm going to activate, you know, it worked so well last time. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Go easy on me. Okay, okay. So you do have the illusion. There are a lot of chainable cards. I mean, it could, yeah, there's a lot of chainable cards. I got, a, I got a couple of DMs coming your way. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I see. <laughs> I don't know if really I am. I still pop it. That's true. Um. Okay, let me think about this. Uh. <laughs> Check out this hand goes crazy in Velatro. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Chat all my life I've been I've been playing like I'm the quirky joker. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm just bouncing that shit again. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I, I don't think I can this beat This is the best it. combo I've ever seen. Oh my fucking right, god, dude. Con if that set card is true light, I'm gonna shit. No no no, it's not true light, not true light. I mean this is devastating. Wow. This yeah, is a you completely know, different deck cards, than the was... one you played last time. I know. No, we didn't pull any synchros or any ritual stuff, but I was thinking, like, I think the fusion cards are actually just much better. Like, much better. Oh, Why did you vision disastrous. first? Just for a little, you know, just a little a little silly. Oh, wait, because this was adding the blue eyes, so I could have done it main fate. Never mind. You're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I, I wanted to bounce the wind. I got a little too tunneled on it, but the white stone does add a blue eyes, so I didn't have to do that. You <laughs> that's, are right. that's what I wanted, chat. <laughs> that's what I wanted. Oh my god. Okay. Her again. Her? Again? Yeah. 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 All right, we can send a, a card that mentions Dark Magician, but uh, Soul Servant isn't drawing me to this turn. What the fuck do I send? I don't know. See, I feel like that card's... Well, yeah, I guess it's there specifically to send Soul Servant, but I feel like my deck has a lot more targets for that card to send. Chat saying sure. Rod? There's not a scenario in which I can do nav for a negate. Nav has text on it. You have to control uh, Dark Magician, right? 
You something? understand I can't just tribute Rod to get it back. All right? <laughs> oh, man. We are so fucking cooked, man. This is <laughs> this is over. Maybe this guy? I didn't even have to threaten to jump off the castle like Kaiba did. Which, by the way, that was kind of fucked up. How was that in the show? Like that he just like threatened Jumping to off the castle? jump down to his death? And, Wait, like, are you are you not doing that in rounds? <laughs> I won like half my YCS rounds off being like, I'm really gonna do it this time. Fuck. Yes. I don't know, man. I go. Fucking <laughs> go. Make it fast, Doug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaiba. My I can see now my deck sucks balls. Right. I see how Yugi was able to clean my ass open with a <laughs> fucking <laughs> With magnet warriors. Was, what? <laughs> you know, that's what he did. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Yeah. No. I'm. Uh. I wasn't gonna include this vision card, but it is actually like. Vision's really been good. crazy. I got a yeah. vision. My um, vision is we are not making it to episode three of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Dark magician sucks. Yeah, it's not great. That hand was DM, 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 Dark Magic Attack, Dark Burning Magic, Dark Magic Expanded. I feel like the difference is that the Dark Magician cards that get Dark Magician out of the hand are all, like, slow, where the Blue Eyes mm -hmm. cards are fast. I think that is, like, a, a pretty big difference. Let um, me see what you're, let me see you're what cooking. You're, let me see what you're working Yeah, yeah. With. No, it's um, it's a really good fusion. Let me see what let me your see what... deck. I pulled... I mean, it's a oh, lot this of is, yeah. uh, I mean, this is about what you would hope for. Oh, only one yeah. true light. Wow, and you found a games one and two. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, you pulled a yeah, veil you know, like, out of the pack. Veil's a cool-ass card. Yeah, and I pulled a couple funny ones. I mean, drag down, book, safe yeah. zone, you know, a couple silly ones. But most Jeez. importantly, fortune lady, wind. Yeah, wind wind sure. carried. Wind, um, wind, wind, wind one. My pulls were, <laughs> they were kind of mid, but like there's not a whole lot you can hope for in this pack we pulled three of circle which was crazy obviously but uh like most of the good so you stuff have some sushi cards in there soul Tell is, me about is a that. rare yeah so we pulled shari red outside of the pack and then we pulled ikura and then we pulled two dreadnoughts and both super <laughs> rares and then we called you and you said joseph don't you dare craft shari red and my heart broke <laughs> But, you know, we, we had pretty much as much of a chance of summoning that shit as we did of summoning Dark Magician. Cause dark Magician cards? Yeah. Oh I mean, my God. honestly, looks pretty good for a Dark Magician deck. I think, I, it was I just think like... what we built is kind of the ceiling on this strategy. I think that it's yeah. just kind of low power relative to some of the other stuff on the wheel. Especially Blue Eyes. Okay. See you guys next week for the next matchup. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 no, that was um, yeah. There, I really thought the fusion stuff was a lot better in the blue eyes deck. So that that yeah, that, it, it looked it looked strong as fuck. Yeah, I mean it's a little weird playing like no dragon card. Yeah, no white stone, no sage, or no yeah, no ancients, no sage. So that kind of like really restricts your. Deck I, like I think you pulled with... worse than last time, but just like had a different deck. <laughs> yeah, it was just completely different. Okay, thanks, man. Have a good good luck at Raleigh and good luck in my challenger cup if you don't drop from it this time i am gonna do my best not to drop from it um all right mm, I, i'll give you i'll give you some good matches to spectate you can be like this is at uh, least show up some random guy round. that i i know this isn't anyone in particular <laughs> i can acknowledge your existence i i didn't know i the, the, they're like gun to the head like if you if you do the fucking cadence the MBT, we're taking you out back. <laughs> You're <laughs> no. gonna get smothered in a pool of rescue rabbit plushes. They're gonna have yeah. to dig your ass out with the uh, the Intel Radeon peripheral Wii U controller. Cause you don't. Yeah. What was that? No. So you don't. You don't have any rescue rabbit plushies, right? No, I don't. This is gonna be your moment. They. I where bet. did you this get is yours? Do, is that what they pay you in? No, I have a playset. Um, the first I got it when the Comic Con, like the very first Comic Con that it was allowed, I did like a promotional post, got it there, and then I did one of the Master Duel. Oh, the Master Duel tournament where they first did like the the weird point system. 
each match, if you won your match, even if your team lost, you you won, you were playing for a Rescue Rabbit plushie. Mm -hmm. So I got that one. And then I think I did another promotional material. So that's kind of cool. It is what it is. Yeah. No, they're, they're honestly, you know, they're really high quality. They're good. They're nice. You're going to win one on Friday, I believe. We'll see. I, or, right. you know, worst case scenario, I can just, I, I know that Foxy's going to be at Raleigh. So I just break into her house and steal one of her eight. Get hers. Yeah. No, I mean, that's what you got to do. She's going to yeah. have a million Master Duel sleeves, too. Oh, boy. I, even I got the Master Duel sleeves. That, that shit don't mean nothing. It, you know, it's, it used to. It was, like, impossible to get. I, I don't believe that at all. That When you could get them on the Twitter posts, those were so easy. Were they really? Yeah. By the I way, think... you know, speaking of Twitter contests, I really wish I had mailed in for that BLS. Like, I know. I did, and I didn't get one, and I, I think that they... I think they cheated me because everyone else I know who mailed in got one. <laughs> they were like, we're going to, we're not going to let the guy who told everyone get it, but we can't legally. <laughs> one of my, one of my friends was like, it. Hey, I got it off the mail in. And I posted that tweet. I was like, that's crazy. Someone got off the mail in. I got hundreds of people DMing me being like, Oh, I also got it <laughs> off the mail. in." <laughs> like, I feel so bad. That I have permanently jeopardized my ability to work with them, which otherwise I think they were in for. Yeah, that was the final straw. That was the, straw <laughs> that was the only <laughs> straw, actually. <laughs> okay, have a good one, man. Have Bye. A good one. What a nice young man. Hmm. All right, you ready for Master of Faster? So how do you guys, while I got you here, how do you guys feel about Master of Faster? It's very strange. I am of the opinion. I think it's some of the best stuff that I've done. Uh, and I think that the... Especially the second one. The video is really slick. But... I'm getting a lot of feedback that's like, I actually fucking hate the series. And it's like, Pegasus Challenge, I get hating that series. Because it was pretty loose the whole time. But I think that the concept behind this one is cool. I just, um, I don't get it. I miss Pegasus. Okay, I'm not listening to you. Danny is way too slow. He was molding about it. It's good. I just don't know if it has more than five episodes in the tank. I mean, we might get to five and find that that's it. It's a bit too one-sided. Maybe you have a ban system. By episode two, you're at constructed. No point. I don't think that's true. I think we're playing the cheapest of any constructed deck, and it's really easy to build around. I think that I think that people got in their head that the way this was going to work was our deck would gradually improve until it resembled a constructed deck. But largely what it's going to be is we are going to bum rush the gem economy in such a way that we can get what we want most weeks if we play smart, and then we build for our opponent's deck. Danny is just bad, I think that's all. I, I don't know. I don't think that's the case. I'll put the fear of God in him. I'll be like, I can't go it. What I thought it was going to be is that each episode you'd have a set amount of time to build the deck and each week it would be less time. Oh! Nothing in the opening told the audience that was the goal. Nothing in the opening told the audience anything. It feels rude to say, but I think you and Danny have completely different ideas of what the end goal of the decks should look like after each episode. What do you mean by that? Danny is not as into it as you are.
He just messes around without a plan. What? <laughs> hmm. Probably have set expectations as to what power level you guys are trying to achieve. The highest power level. Danny isn't the correct co-host for this type of content. Mm. You all got to understand, I like Danny a lot more than I like all of you. You just got to have the right expectations of where you're going with it. The problem is you put master in the title. So people think it's a Doug series. So you get crazy Doug commentators who would complain if they won the lottery. Danny is not approaching it in a way that is compatible with yours. I think that might be it, but I don't think that's Danny's fault. You know what I mean? Just ban selections? No. I, Chad, I don't think you get... Oh, boy. You all have been cooked by watching too many Doug series. We don't need the decks to be bad. I think the issue is Danny tried to uh, start with a strategy that didn't work with Eldritch Stun and he can't recover from it. That is very recoverable. Hmm. Is Danny supposed to craft three marionette might? He is playing the same person every week. It's possible. You're tryharding. He's just having fun. That's... That's probably true. I just like tryharding. I don't know. You crafted Maxi. You can't deny the tryhard allegations. I I am trying hard. What? Oh man. And you, you all are implying, listen, I think Danny is also trying. Like, you all are like, Danny's just doing casual stuff. He built Invoked Eldritch. Like, that's a real strategy. I don't know. It's something that's kind of strange. And uh, what, what, what I fear about this is that it's already doomed. Like... That if there's like a dynamic problem or if there's like a, a rules-based problem, you can't fix it episode three. Like it's over. People were saying this stuff when Danny was down 3-0 and broke boys. Maybe give it time. I'm certainly going to give it time. I, people were saying after episode two of Dual Taining, we need to can it. And that's like my best performing series of all time.
Pegasus seemed like both of you enjoyed doing it instead of one person. You can't possibly think that. <laughs> Will there be a dual taining season two? Absolutely. Right now, Vlad is gone. Vlad's back uh, early May. That's probably when we'll start back up dual taining. Why is dual taining over? Um... So when I start a new series, it starts high and the views just sort of go down. And so if I cap it off at 10, they never go down so far that I feel like I'm uploading dog shit. <clears throat> All right. We are gonna we are gonna do we are gonna do Master of Faster here today. Uh, let's do a little. Just add bands or something. I don't even think we need to do that. The vids need to feel faster to sell the gimmick. That I do agree with. I think the second one did a much better job than the first one in that regard. Folks, we are back with another episode of Master of Faster. And I got to tell you, the most recent episode did not feel close. Probably because I'm an absolute genius and Danny is a fucking moron. I'm sorry, we're not doing that. That's not how it's starting. That's so mean. Folks, welcome back to another episode of Master of Faster. We absolutely dominated last episode, and that's what scares me. See, I love Unchained. But if every week you roll up against an individual playing Unchained, it actually becomes very easy to beat them. Like if Danny just crafts Marionette Might, we lose. Something as simple as getting, like, DD Crows in his collection could absolutely cook us. And make no mistake, while I did have a single dominant turn in the last episode, if any of those invokers resolved, we were just cooked permanently. You can see that Danny's building a deck, Wakero and Mechaba, for instance, that banishes cards. And I can't beat that. So it's time to execute phase two of the plan. We weren't just going into Unchained because it's an incredibly powerful deck. We were crafting hand traps to facilitate a powerful generic collection and crafting exactly this you are, Unchained Soul of Sharvara. In fact, any deck has the capacity to play a small Unchained engine and then use that alongside some cards with incidental synergy. I think it's time to start pivoting to Labyrinth. Now, this is going to be a long-term pivot, because as you can see, some of these cards are real fucking expensive. But for this episode, at least, I'm aiming to get some Archfiend, some Torby, some Chandra Liger, some Ku Clock, and probably five of Welcome Labyrinth and Big Welcome Labyrinth together. Which is going to be a lot of UR dust. Oh God! So to make that happen, we gotta we gotta get a lot of gems. Where are we getting those gems? Ranked? I don't. I don't think we can do ranked. Where are you in solo modes? Here. What does dual strategy look like? Still nothing. These are like nothing. Oh, thank God. We get the trap hole. <gasps> Sam can me. Hmm. 
Nothing. 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 200. This deck can easily do ranked. We only have 15 minutes, chat. There's no way we're doing that. All right. Starting now. Okay, Rookie lets you rank up from losing. So we're just going to play a couple of Rookie games. Oh my god, but we can't concede. I don't need to see that. Uh, I am going to play the Unchained deck, because if we like go first, I do want to just kill them. Okay, so this should be about as difficult as clearing um, the solo mode opponents, but we get a ton of gems for ranking up to Bronze, and to do that, we go from 2 to 1. Oh, uh, this person has a custom card case, which means they may have spent money on it. Maybe we should be going second because then we'll be able to OTK our opponent. This hand is actually pretty killer. Dawn. Dawn, do you have something to activate? If so, you need to do it. I'm not going to sit here and watch you go back and forth over and over again. Rika, uh, summon. Oh god, I don't really guess this guy. Uh, Yama here. How did you queue against the one real player in rookie two? Yeah, it's kind of fucked up, right? Right, uh, unchained soul of Yama. Uh, what do we grab here? A Ruha for sure. Sharvara set, A bomb prison, Aruha pop the prison. Prison, summon, Shayama, you. Get another Sharvara here, I think. I guess we're one guy short, right? No, we're not. And then what do we want for her? His little his little icon is going away. I think we might be out of the woods here. We may take enough uh, moves uh, that he will concede. Come on, DC Wincon, DC Wincon. I don't have this kind of time to be fucking around, Dawn. This setup took me two and a half minutes, Dawn. The least you can do is lose to it. Dawn. Dawn. 11.58. Dawn. I'm begging you, Dawn. Dawn. I don't have this type of time, Dawn. Oh my god, they're killing me. Dawn! Is is this a double agent? What's going on here, Dawn? This is unbelievable. Dawn.
Oh my god, all this, Don? All, all this for this? Don, I'm begging you, please. Holy fuck, it's blue eyes! <laughs> I'm burning my effect activations just like nobody's business. I do not want to have to deal with you, Don. Oh my god, what? What are you thinking about, Don? Don, I don't have this kind of time. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Rush recklessly. Don, you were holding on to Rush recklessly for just a moment like this. Holy shit, Don, 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 Don. Yeah. Don, let me out. I'm begging you, let me out, Don. Don, let me out. You can't beat this. My deck is too powerful, Don. Nine minutes. Oh my fucking god, dude. What are we doing in battle phase? You have no monsters that can perform combat! Okay. Oh, that better not be anything. That's all I gotta say. That better not be anything. Uh, let's summon back this guy. Why not? Oh, that's lethal on board. Although I wonder if it's worth going A-bomb. You know, I bet it is. That was like half my fucking time. I can't believe Dawn did this to me. Lord of D. Lord of D. Silver's Cry. Alright, let's wrap this up. No! I fucking miscalculated. Oh my god. Please, Don. D Don. <laughs> Don. Please. This is this is our whole this is our whole game. Our whole game is watching Don look at his camera. Don, I, I don't want to be mean here, Don, but you are really fucking me over. Oh my God. Please pass the turn, Don. Don. Why, why go to the battle phase, Don? Ring of Destruction. What is the quick effect that you have to activate, Dawn? Do you have a maxi or something? Can you please get it out of your hand? Please. Dawn. Twin twin headed behemoth. Holy shit. Oh, we are really cooked. We are so cooked. Alright, that took us a fucking year. But there's so many free gems available in Ranked.
We literally, all we have to do is show up to the, oh my god, I forgot about this. To the next duel. We don't even have to win this duel, we just have to show up. About 5 minutes and 30 seconds left here. Where the fuck is everybody? Huh? Hello? Okay, there we go. Okay, another person who has paid money! Okay, we're gonna try going second. Where are the bots? Lab sleeves. Oh my god. Please be nothing. Our hand really sucks too. Please be lab so I can just scoop. B oh? That might resolve some of our problems here. It's lab. This is a crazy rookie one match, isn't it? Yeah, you can have my Ash Blossom. Damn. Fuck. Not nah, back, Jack man. I I gotta get out of here. I literally have to go. Three forty four. I is it even worth doing this? You probably had that, though? No, I didn't. Okay, this is a bot. This is literally a bot. Yeah, this is a bot. Okay, I'm going to use this time to look up uh, a list. I'm going to play this like ass just to get here as quick as possible. Oh my god, am I stupid? I literally am. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it, don't worry. One minute fifty nine on this. run into so many fucking people today okay 90 seconds by the way uh let's get our mission gems hurry i don't have this kind of time Uh, and then let's, uh, go to the deck.
Uh, let's dismantle some SRs. Um, wait, why do we have three Ariana already? What the fuck? Where do we get that? Selection pack? Uh, I, I don't know. A uh, lab lab? And one more. We got some stuff in there. Uh, good stuff. Great stuff in here. All right, we're just going to cheat. Danny cheated that one time. We're just going to cheat. Calm down, chat. We have the deck. We have the deck. Uh... Listen, it's either this or you're going to see Unchained for the third week in a row. All right. We have enough for one UR. It's got to be big welcome, right? Or lovely. We have two of this now. <laughs> Taking our time. We're taking our time. Is there a guy that backcheck can turn into? No, we got banned. Not an SR. Rip. Uh, this seems fine. Put in the karma cut we pulled. You want ghastly glitch in there? Oh, this card's crazy. Let's do two more of that. And we'll cut, uh, I don't know, some of the bad cards here. Uh, 
Uh, what can we take out? Probably the A bomb's prisons aren't very good if we're playing this few unchained guys. This looks pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. This looks pretty dope. Okay, I mean, <laughs> it's in progress. You have to understand. Obviously, in the future, we're going to want more than one big one welcome, but it's a, it's a good start. And my favorite part is that it only took 15 minutes. If I ever see Dom in real life, it's on site. It's... I. One stovey? No. We're on two stovey. See? Like I said. <laughs> I think you cut every Unchained card? No. No, all you need for, for Unchained is Sharvara in main. It's like, it's an entire, it's almost entirely extra deck based. think right yeah That'll make good TV. I'll say that. That'll make some good TV. And that is going to be it for me, by the way. My Thank you all for TV. sticking around. I really appreciate it. I'm going to throw you over to um, to one of my friends. Uh, who have I not thrown you over to recently? Golden Nova appears to be playing some sort of Ojama deck. Yeah, let's do that. I'll throw you over to... Go oh, Meow Streaming! Oh, shit. Not the Meow. Everyone, please go bother Meow. Bye-bye.